to go with uh, terrain, basically. They skip yeah, out on the exactly. block. What's up, nerds? Hey, oh, nerd. uh, What's up? We're back. More D&D. We are. It's Sunday. Oh, crap. Oh. Uh, yeah, yeah, Sunday fun day. Oh, let me just leave that on there. Uh, let's see. Get my makeshift uh, dice tray. <laughs> we're totally not late. We planned ahead. No, we're totally not late. We didn't. Oh, hey, bag of dice. I have that. I should probably. Oh, hey, oh, hey look. Uh, my total, my total legitimate dice tray, and not the cover of the Gundam model I just finished. <laughs> I'm uh, the newbie, and I have a proper dice tray. Listen, yeah. buddy, I I just haven't bought it yet. <laughs> I just don't fair, uncontrollably roll my dice. How hard is it? Yeah, right. Also, you wish. Trays. Trays are for I mean, you wish. Do you know exactly what I'm discussing? I'm put. I'm putting your for head in there. Trays right? are for people who have thirty dollars game dice sets. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, right. <laughs> what are you talking about? I I never did such a thing. <laughs> no, no, never. I totally am not about to buy a two hundred dollar like fucking D twenty. No, I'm Is buying a two hundred dollar D twenty set. Yeah, the fucking light up ones. Absolutely, I'm buying those. No, no, no. I'm no, buying a single D twenty. Yeah. The thing's fucking I'm beautiful. It, it's the thing is, it is, it is basically a display piece. It at while well, also being a D twenty at the same time, it is yeah. beautiful yeah. and handcrafted. There's a reason it's expensive. It's, yeah. it, it, no, it's also that. perfectly weighted. Mm -hmm. I'm absolutely buying those pixel dice when they come out. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm, yeah. A, I'm gonna buy a D20 to start, and then I'm gonna like eventually, whenever I can, I'll buy a full set. Yeah, 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 yeah. <clears throat> I'm working on. I <laughs> don't look crazy, but I have to put I have to put my D20 Donuts. down in my tray yeah. with the 20 up. There we go. There all it right. Is. I'm so... slowly unearthing all of my proper dice. Yeah. All right. Uh. Last we left off, two weeks ago, Jesus, um, y'all were, had, you had just arrived in Aragona. You successfully uh, delivered the goods that uh, Torchwick had asked you to. Uh, you met up with a strange dragonborn by the name of Quivari, uh, who assisted you in taking down a uh, group of bandits, uh, met mm -hmm. a strange green elf, an Eladrin, uh, named Jack, and his first mate Woodrow, uh, and spent the night at the Stalwart Aegis. Um, looking to see where your adventure takes you next, which uh, apparently is going to take you to Cloud Barrow as well as uh, into farmlands where um, some local farmers are having trouble with myconid, some mushroom folk. Oh, yeah, those things. Uh, let's see. Y'all had y'all just gone to sleep before this? I can't remember. Yeah. Yeah. I think so because I think what it what it was is we had determined to do that we could get the farm we could help the farmers out with enough time to spare to come back and then take mm -hmm. the the job uh, to protect the nobleman. Wasn't yeah. that still midday though? Because it was soon after I jumped yeah, into yeah, the yeah. water. It, it was about. Yeah, it, might so have it was been. like beginning of the day. I think that was decided. Actually, yeah. Now I think about it, that might. So have I been... think by now it's about midday, and yeah, I think they're gonna go out. Uh, yeah. Um, before you do, uh, y'all do head out. Yalmir comes up to you and. Uh, just kind of pull, pulls uh, Voltac to the side, and uh, as, as you're the one that has traveled with him the most, and it's like, hey, yeah. uh, um, I, I'm gonna go over to the church 
and uh, spend some time there today. Uh, y'all, y'all go ahead on this without me. Um, I, I, I haven't been right uh, of mind lately, and uh, I want to see if spending some time there can, you know, get me back on track. I uh, just uh, kind of like try to process like as he looks up at you. <laughs> yeah, I just kind of like look down, process the fact that this man wants to spend a whole day inside a church, and go just over enthusiastically like pat him on the back and go, "You do what you need to do, bud." <laughs> I just kind of go, but if you hear about some weird stuff, it wasn't me. <laughs> 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 looks up at you noted and, uh, <laughs> walks out of the stalwart aegis and uh heads towards the local church that's there um y'all are just you know gathered around the uh table at the stalwart aegis uh relaxing uh you can choose to go out on this quest today, or you can pick it up in the morning. That is up to you. Uh, so, are we all together at this point, I guess? Yes. Yes. Okay. With the exception of Yalmir, who has headed out. I... I'd vote we take it today if we're trying to do both. If we're doing both, we gotta go today. Otherwise, yeah. we won't have time. This is... Uh, time is... What's the word? Uh, scarce? <laughs> uh, this one? Incredibly. So, uh, yep. uh, sooner we kill weird mushroom things, sooner we get back. <laughs> That's very true. Um, oh shit, what was their names? I need, I need to pull up. So much information to keep track of. Uh, so... There it is. Uh, Victor comes up to you and, uh... Gives you the name, uh, the name of one of the farmers that is going to be there, and I will have his name in just a second. As soon as you know everything stops. Loading. Loading. Yeah. Oh boy. Want to see it's here? I know I made this so like the name so stupid. It was it was really bad. Ah, here it is. Far, yeah. far, Farmer there McFarmington. It there it is. Yep. No, nope. it's even worse than that. Oh. Uh, boy. <laughs> uh, he says the um, the farmer's name is Billy, uh, <laughs> head of the Mike family. Uh, oh, <laughs> is it is it Billy the kitten? No. Really no. <laughs> no Billy Mike. It's, it's Billy Mike. Um, he is uh, about half a day's journey away. In, he's about six hours away uh, by foot. Uh, about four with uh, a horse. Um, so if you wanted to get uh, a head start on that now. Uh, Y'all could probably make it there by the by the sunset, and uh, you know, start taking care of their problem. Uh, say that from what that I heard, be... Mike and it are uh, nocturnal. 
Yeah, that would be perfect time for us to arrive. So that'd give us enough time to get there, uh, get a grasp of uh, how bad the situation is, and then uh, go from there and take care of the problem, hopefully, by night's end. It's very true. Ideally, we can finish it tonight as well, and we don't have to take several nights. Yes, hopefully. The quicker this gets done, the less, you know, the more time we have to get back and yep. make sure that we don't miss this second the journey up. Also, make sure we don't miss too much of a rest. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Because I have a weird feeling the last thing we need is to have a point of exhaustion, a point of exhaustion uh, when we get on this boat. Just a boat. How do you feel, Aralista? It's about to go back on another boat. Prefer it. All right. So. so I just kind of, I kind of like. If Voltak kind of gets a little little giddy because it's, it's Voltak's like worked on a lot of them, never actually stood in one. <laughs> Great. Now you're gonna know what seasickness is like. <laughs> what? What's what's that? <laughs> oh, don't don't you worry about that. Not yet. Anyway. Just know where this side of the ship is, and from my understanding, is you know where it is, so very important later on. Uh, Alright. So y'all are deciding to head out into uh, towards the farmlands in search of uh, Billy Mike. Yep. Alright. Then prepare yourselves. Damn it. What do you what We do you still do? have access to the um to the horses and all that? Uh yeah. Yeah, you still have access to uh, access to the horses. Um Hell you have access to the cart if you really want it. That might that yeah, might we'll be our, the our best the horses, option. Yeah. We should we yeah. should probably bring the cart as well in case we get anything big that's valuable. It also, would honestly, full time would end up having a sitting on the donkey. And, uh, <laughs> I kind of, I, I kind of, look, I don't I think I look down at it and go, out. "Nah, that's 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 the little one's ride. I will, I shall, I shall not steal it." Can we still put full on the donkey? <laughs> I, I, full <Voltax, laughs> I, I look over, I look, o ground, I look over it. <laughs> Unless you want to be cast off the side of the ship. I think you'd lose in that. Be a bit honest. Uh, um, about your sea legs. Nah, let's take the horses in the cart and let's go. Because we will, the quicker we get there, the better, more prepared we can be once we get there. Very true. Let's. So, you are going to head off towards, oh god, where is this map? You pinned it. Yeah, I know, I, ha I have my Google Drive open. Pinned it, lost it. Yep, that's how it goes. Listen, listen, there's a lot Welcome of information. Yeah, there's a lot of information <laughs> out there. I'm just trying to organize my thoughts, which are all over the place today. Um, as well as in Genshin Hell, so no thoughts, no thoughts. Head no thoughts, Genshin. Head Genshin. <laughs> <laughs> Made an impact on your brain. It, it definitely did. Uh, so no Genshin head impact. Yeah. Yeah, y'all are gonna end up heading west. 
out towards, uh, kind of back towards where you came from. But instead of taking the, that, that straight road back out, there was that, uh, T intersection. The, you're going to go down that right. Um, that, that's at least the rough map that Victor has given to you of where the, the Mike family farms are. Okay. All right. So, uh, you all gather your things. You gather your horses, your cart, which uh, is looking a little worse for wear, given the fact that it's been trudged through a, a forest and uh, <laughs> <laughs> ra uh, taken by kobolds. And I take perfect care of my carts. How dare you? Attacked by bandits. Mm. <laughs> it's, it's got some uh, wear and tear it's but fine. it's still functional <clears throat> um and you head out uh sun is just crested over uh high noon so you're looking about two o'clock in the afternoon as you head out um Before y'all head out, uh, Callum kind of, uh, as he's helping you, he kind of takes a step back and is like, I'm going to uh, head to the docks and uh, see if Jack needs anything um, to help get the boat ready for tomorrow. Um, I, 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 I just, I don't think you need me today. Okay. And, uh, he walks a, uh, gives a nod, a wave, and, uh, heads back in the direction of the docks to talk with Jack and see what he needs. For preparations. Uh, but yeah. Uh, Y'all head out. Yeah. So. Uh, fuck. Who is driving the cart? And who's sitting in back? You're going to you're gonna be driving the cart? Evan, as always. All right. Uh, go ahead and make your right. animal handling check. So you can wrestle uh, these horses. 16. 16? You're fine. You uh, crack the reins and uh, they, they trot off without a issue. And... It's a pretty quiet ride. Um, you know, luckily, the, without the bandits, there's not a lot of issue anymore. <laughs> um, you do notice, however, the, the bodies that were there uh, after that battle are now mysteriously gone. Mm -hmm. They're just not there anymore. They're a bit, well, not so mysteriously. It's just, it's been cleaned up. Body's gone. So. Just kind of like look over and just kind of go, isn't this kind of where we, uh... There's the blood stain from that guy's head I smashed in. <laughs> oh yeah, there it is. Huh. Hmm. But where, where is the person? <laughs> Yeah, well. Mm. <laughs> In the distance, you hear uh, some some wolves howling. <laughs> I said the cleaner took care of it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, you uh, take that right, and uh, the the journey goes smooth. It's very, uh, 
beautiful the the forested area that's out here um tall pine trees uh everywhere you see really think uh like upstate washington the forest up there like just super tall um it's it's peaceful uh, a light mist on the ground but nothing to uh, obscure the view um yeah who uh anybody just kind of making a watch vigilant eye Ooh. yeah i'm As just I'll say yeah i'm, since, just, I'm since... just like sitting on the car keeping like keeping facing just facing away from where we're going just watching the from all the way right to all the way left all right Same. uh make, make a perception check for me Uh, duck, don't fuck me. <laughs> it's that's 14. Uh, no, that's only natural 20. So that's 14 plus, it would be perception. Yep. 18. 18. Nothing. Uh, you see some wildlife, you know, scurrying around the, the hill at the cliff edges uh, of the little valley that you're in. Um, some deer, some, you, you see a, a singular wolf that kind of is just sitting there keeping an eye over everything, uh, more keeping guard than, uh, looking to attack, but, um, I, I take a mental note of that area, the area we're in, in the direction we're going. Okay. Yeah, other than that, not much. You see, like, the the light mist that's uh, gathered along the ground kind of uh, swirl and trail as the cart passes through it. Um, and eventually you guys get out of the uh, the valley and the, the really tall woods as, as the forest starts to break into um, the plains once more. The Windfell Plains. And um, the sun's shining a bit. Uh, it's been about two hours, and since it is fall, the sun's gotten pretty low. Um, not quite sunset yet, but it's it's getting there. Um, you're losing daylight. So, just kind of make a. a, a to jab at Atlas and go, can't you make the things move any faster? <laughs> uh, upon the sunstone, to set, I start taking out, like, torch equipment and stuff. <laughs> okay. I think we all here have dark vision, but it only helps up to so long. You also have 60. your dancing lights. Yeah. I still, I still take out my, like, adventuring kit, so I'm, like, yeah. Torch. Um, ready to like light a torch in case. Yeah. Um. But yeah, it it takes you about another two hours. Um, but you do get to uh, a small little uh, gathering of houses uh, and what seems to be large fields um, of farmland. Uh, it's just what like takes up the entire front view of what you're seeing is just field after field after field after field um kind of makes you wonder how they keep uh, how they manage all this but it it's impressive um but the the road stops and there's a, a um a little path that goes to the side that will lead up to the uh one of the first houses there so you 
you guys pull up your cart and uh, walk up, depart. Uh, what what you gonna do? Not get off the cart. Go knock on the door. All right. So hang on. This is the just confirming. This is the house they told us about, right? It, it's there's a collection of houses that are right there. Uh, this would be the first one of the lot, and it's the biggest. So yeah. Okay. Yeah, I get I get off and go down with that list. All right. Um. Uh, you knock on the door. A little loud. Because Atlas is a, a monster and just massive. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> a, lion, a lion and a magenta tiefling walk up to a door. That's not going to be intimidating at all. No, nah, not at all. We ought uh, to get it right. How dare you? He, the door opens and you're greeted by this uh, man who's not much smaller than you, Atlas. Um but he is just big. He is he is round. He has this full beard down that that just comes down to about center of his chest. Um, I kind of like as this, as the guy opens the door, I kind of look look over at Atlas, look at him, and go, "All right, what's going on here?" <laughs> I start this adventure, run into. <laughs> Two like, <laughs> like you see the you see you see it, like the steam slowly rising out of Voltax's head because they're trying to do the math of <laughs> the number of coincidences of meeting people as tall as she is and just kind of can't comprehend it. Yeah, uh, welcome this, to the world. This guy Where's is the as tall <laughs> as tall as you are, um, Voltax, <laughs> and so uh, he kind of. Uh, Looks at, looks at you, the strange group that you are, and is like, "Well, hello there. Uh, well, what brings you around these parts?" Victor told me to smash, me smash. <laughs> I kind um, of like just slowly like push Alice. He, he raises an eyebrow, and Apologies. mushrooms. What are the mushrooms called? <laughs> Myconids. Apologies, we came here under a commission because we heard you were having a Mykonid problem. Ah, uh, yes, the, the Mykonids. Uh, we are indeed having a problem with them. So y'all are here from Victor, yes. Yes, I, I remember this, I remember. Uh, oh. Uh. Y'all came at a good time. Uh, sun's about to go down. They, they're more active at night. Uh, That's what we were told. Yes, yes. Um, do, do come in, come in. Uh, and he he backs out of the way and motions for you all to enter his house. Um, it's nothing lavish, but it's well built. Um, is it tall person friendly? It is very tall person friendly. <laughs> Just, ah, someone finally understands. <laughs> We're talking like 10 foot ceilings. Uh, but it, it is superb craftsmanship uh, as far as lumber work. Also, if you guys DM me anything, I do not get it because I have like full screen things everywhere. <laughs> okay. Just so y'all know. Uh, too busy fighting with my cat right now. <laughs> um, he, he, as he, y'all enter the house. Um, you see everybody. You see a couple kids running around. Uh, they stop, look up at y'all, and they're like, "Ooh, you're a big cat." And then they run off again. <laughs> and then... I kind of... Full-tech chuckles a little bit. <laughs> I give a... Fucking, cat. 
stare over at Volta. <laughs> I just do like the little like. <laughs> <laughs> um, but Billy comes out, uh, leads you all into the the dining room, and uh, off to your seat. Yeah. So uh, these these Mike and it. Uh, They've been bothering me and my family uh, quite some quite some time. Uh, they uh, come in and uh, poison our crops. Their spores. They they're very. Uh, they're not good for growing stuff. I I don't know. They're kind of weird magics that they uh or if it even is magic uh but it's I, I it it makes everything wilt and die i i'm not a fan of it and so uh i've even seen them take uh some uh corpses uh dead you know animals and they end up Kind of coming back with all these little fungus patches all over them, and they uh, it's 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 wrong. So I, I'd I'd appreciate y'all taking care of this, um, and uh, anything you need before y'all take care of this problem for me, uh, anything at all, uh, I can do to help within my power. It is yours. Uh, I do have a qu very, I do have a question. Uh, yes. Um, have you tried things like fire against them, or are you too worried about that damaging your crops? We haven't really m messed with them at all. Uh, last time we tried, uh, they messed with our minds a bit uh and uh just made us go away it, w it was quite odd um next thing you know we woke up back in our houses so we um we tend not to mess with them anymore uh but if those stronger than us can take them out, then y'all look like a capable bunch. Uh, if I do say so myself, this man right here points at, pointing at Atlas. You, you look like a fighter. I, I can tell you, big and strong. Yeah, <laughs> and you, you, ma'am. Oh, you're just <laughs> you're you're built from the mountains. I can tell. Uh, that seems about right. <laughs> But, I mean, you, you all seem pretty capable with the, how you carry yourselves. So, uh, it, like I said, anything you need, uh, even a night's rest, you know, it, when you come back, uh, I'll make sure that uh, Joe has a, 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 one of the bonds ready for you. Uh, we'll clear the animals out and make sure it's all ready. Um, it, it's the one just outside. Uh, Y'all can stay there for the night, if you wish. That would be greatly appreciated. And we'll have some food packed up uh, and brought out to you uh, when, when y'all get back. As he just said, that would be greatly appreciated. Excellent, excellent. Um, now, I I know y'all just came back from the forest, uh, or came out of the forest. Uh, unfortunately, uh, that ha happens to be a bit where they 
come from. Uh, however, it's not too, too far into the forest. Uh, there's uh, a small, what was it? Let me pull this up. There's a small river that, uh, just, just off the road, you may have passed it. Um, that'll take you in a, a, a bit and, uh, where they seem to hang out and retreat to is a bit past that. If you follow it, that is. Um, yep. Got it. Yeah, it's, it's, I have the utmost confidence that you can take care of this, uh, small problem. We can go get it done. Hopefully this will be done by sunrise. Hopefully, hopefully, and hopefully nothing bad happens to y'all. I'd hate, I'd hate to see that. Uh, but yeah, yes. Um, and then whenever y'all, uh, like I said, and then whenever y'all are uh, ready to go. Uh, if you so I'm wish. Ready to go. Oh. Actually, uh, we do have one favor to ask before we do head off. Uh, yes. Could you watch after our horses, our, our horses, our horses and cart? Absolutely. We'll we'll make sure that the uh, horses are put up in the stable and your cart is put by the barn. Amazing. Thank you. Uh, absolutely, absolutely. And uh, if at any point you need to um need anything just give uh one of my family members a holler you you'll you'll be able to get a hold of them we stay we tend to stay up pretty late ourselves and uh get some night work done all right all right Oh. So, uh, y'all heading back out? Uh, yeah. I'm good for heading out. All right. You get out of... You, you leave the Mike residence. And, uh... Sure enough, you, as you start walking, sun's still... Sun's starting to set. Um... You... Get to... Uh, you start hearing the faint trickle of water as you keep walking back the path that you came from. And, uh, sure enough, there is a river. And, uh, how big is the river? Uh, it's crossable. Um, it's not a huge river, but it's, um, definitely something that I'd say you could take a, a good white water raft on. Okay. Um, but it, it's it's not too deep either. Comes up to about. Uh, oh man, who's the shortest? I guess you're the shortest right. one. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, comes out about to your thighs. Okay, that's not bad. You can you can wade through it, but comes out yeah. Atlas's knees, your thighs. So, uh, if you needed to. Um, so when we reach the river, I'm just going to take out my bow. Okay. And what's what's the uh, sun looking at? Do we still have natural light, or? Uh, you still have a bit of light. It, it's it's dusk. It's uh, the. 
red and orange hues have taken over the uh, sky. And you can see the as it transitions into the dark purples and blacks. Um, that night is coming uh, within the next hour. In that case, in my hand, the hand I'm using for the bowstring, mm -hmm. um, just like tucked away by my like my like my ring finger, my pinky, and my palm, I have like just a little bit of phosphorus. Okay. Someone has a cat. <laughs> Here's the D20 rolls. Immediately comes up and is like, ah, nah, nah, give me time. <laughs> but yeah. Um, Y'all continue to follow the, the river as Mike uh, told you. And... Sure enough, the, the woods get a little denser. Um, everything kind of starts to... Uh, you see more rocks uh, along the riverbed uh, or the riverside. And uh, it comes up to a path that kind of looks like... Where is this guy? Yeah, that one. Hopefully he's not there anymore. Actually. Um, by the way, the entire time I'm looking for just like dead animals or like little things of fungus on the ground or otherwise. Yeah. Okay. Um Kind of looks like this. So, uh, oh, look at those smiling faces. <laughs> So, y'all are, why does that pop up? Did I do desktop? It's like you did. Did I? No, oh, you swapped into Discord there for a second. That's weird. Because I'm definitely not sharing. Ah, oh, there it is. I guess I did share to desktop screening. Let's show that. Weird. Anyways. Um. Yeah, you come up to where the river splits. It's about here. And, uh... Sun start. Uh, it's pretty dark out now, um, so I, I guess if you wanted to, cat. I guess in your casting, dancing lights, for when it gets dark. Uh, as yeah, when it, when we lose like most vision, like that's when I cast dancing lights. Okay. I'm trying to, and at that they're dim. I'm trying to make it so that we're not, we're not that visible. Yeah. Make it out. But at the same make it so that one we're not that visible, but at the same time we're not able to get like snuck up on two incredibly easily. Yeah. Um and then uh you said you were looking for fungus and stuff. Yeah. Make a nature check. Oh. Nature, that would be Uh, 
21. 21. Um, yeah, you, you see, uh, little bits of, uh, like patches of fungus, uh, as you guys get a little further into the woods, they, and they start leading, uh, up to the river, and then, um, uh, you, you would assume past it, uh, because it, it kind of stops there at the river, but then isn't... There, there's kind of a general line of where, like, small mushrooms have popped up. Mm -hmm. And then it kind of ends at the river. But then you can see a little uh, bunch, bundle of mushrooms just on the other side. Got it. It's, it's y'all's. So, I'm going to have Eve go about 15 feet. Uh, another, how far can I see with dark vision? Like, I ignoring like ignoring the dancing lights. How, how far can I see with dark vision? I believe it's 60 feet. It's 60 so, feet for me, so. In that case, I'm going to have... I'm going to have... Uh, Eve go out about 25, 30 feet in front of us. Mm -hmm. Um, Just looking like a normal fox. Okay. Um, but I'm ready to just bam for out as soon as I see anything. Okay. I'm all, oh, wait, shit. Hang on, sorry. Now I'm trying to think. Would a fox have dark vision? I believe they do. Yeah, you can see within 60 feet of you as though it were bright light. In dim light. Yeah. But then as in darkness. Yeah. yeah. Did you have dark vision? Uh, foxes? I don't know. Okay. In that case, I'm actually going to look through Eve. Um, going to... Oh my god, that's gonna look so fucking weird. Foxes do not have. Oh no, they do. Okay, yeah, dark okay. vision, sixty that's feet, good. and then, keen. Sorry, I, I was looking at their the things, not at the senses. Um. And then, yeah, they also have keen hearing. So. Yeah. Um. Can. Voltak, how tall are you? Uh, six foot five. Oh my god. Um. <laughs> um, shit. Uh. <laughs> Every one of us is tall Taller to you. you. Yeah. <laughs> it go Voltak is I'm, the shortest out of I'm the aware, three. I'm aware. Wait. Oh my fuck. Okay. <laughs> you are tiny. Very is six foot seven I don't i'm like, six foot I, eleven I, i'm not liking my backup character um <laughs> old tack i put my hand like on your arm kind of reaching towards the shoulder but i don't want to put my hand straight up in the fucking air <laughs> um, <laughs> um and i'm going to lose my senses and go into the fox okay So, oh boy, you send, what's its name? Eve. Eve. Uh, across, it, do you go cross the river before you uh, set her down? Or do you, or is she crossing the river? She's going to cross the river. Okay. So have Eve make a dexterity check. To like get across this river without, you know, falling in the water. Okay, hang on. Let me. I just need to quickly pull up fox sets now because I've been looking for it and I can't find it. I know, just, I know just it's search a fox. Three. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Thirteen. Yeah, it's a it's a plus three. Yeah. Yeah. Thirteen. Yeah. Uh, so. Despite the, the wetness uh that's of the rocks. 
uh, as the water kind of rushes over them. Eve manages to, manages to prance uh, over the rocks and gets to the other side just fine. Um, as she scurries through the forest, uh, she comes upon uh, a cave of sorts. Uh, and out of that cave, she, like, just outside of it, um, she sees these creatures about, oh, how tall are they? I didn't look this up. Two to 12 feet. It, is that what they are, really? Uh, that's what I saw, but it could be wrong. Oh. I was looking up to see what they looked like. Wow, looking it up in the band, huh? Huh. We don't have actual figures, we'll only get a profile image. Yeah, we just have a profile image, so it's like, uh... God, I can't wait for, uh, what's that D&D thing in Steam to come out to public release? Uh -oh. oh, yeah. Tailfire. Yeah. I yeah. Need it. I, I need it. <laughs> uh, by the, by the way, before I yeah. even get like, a great description of them, Eve is banned out. Like, gone. Okay. <laughs> yeah, like, and I'm back in. Okay, so you like, you just <laughs> you dismiss Eve. Yeah. Okay. He's like, what's this shit I'm about? Okay. Yeah, um, I just spent I just spent ten fucking gold to get her back. <laughs> I'm not losing her again. Okay. Um, so Eve disappears and then uh, you snap back into reality or to, to your body I should say and uh, yeah you, you can report what you want Uh, so I was trying to keep track of how far it was. About 50 feet. About, about how far the cave was? About, about around 50 feet, there's a cave and this thing outside it. Now, I have got Eve out of there as fast as I could, so I didn't get that good of a view on it. Did I at least see if it was tall? Uh, it, I mean, to Eve, yeah. Like to a fox, it was tall, so about fifty feet up, we have something. Right. Um, shall we push up forward? Go knock some, knock some mushrooms down. Uh, sure. I'm gonna move across the river. All right. Uh, 35 feet up. When when we get to about 30 feet out, um, I'm just saying this beforehand, uh, when we get to about 30 feet out, I'm going to make the um, guiding lights as bright as I can and spread them out a little bit. Okay. So you're crossing the river and y'all are just following? Yep. Yeah, and I'll follow him. Yeah. Alright. Also, isn't it as bright as possible for guiding light? Like, not very bright? It's <laughs> not very bright. For, da for dancing lights? No, it's not. It's oh, they, shed it dim bright. they shed dim light. Yeah. Like, no more than that. <laughs> oh, with our with our dark vision, we'll With see. our dark vision, like, it's something. It'll, yes, it'll, be, it'll be like daylight yes. for us. So. Yeah. Yes. Yes, with our dark vision. Here's uh -oh, Dragonborn. Dragon, I don't. Uh -huh. Do they have dark vision? Dragonborn. Uh -huh. I don't believe they do. Nope. Do they uh, not? No. Nope. Oh, Orphan fuck. Bar. I'm just yeah. like, hand, I'm hand on Atlas just following along behind him at this point. Well, that's what the guy. Well, that's, I mean, no, you see the guy. You can you have the guy. See yeah, I, I can see uh, the, light, the dancing light. lights, yeah. See what they. God, fuck, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, no dark vision for uh, Dragonborn. 
Oh wait, Reese. yes I do. Do they? Yeah. Oh no, no, Dragon Blood, Dragonborn do like fully Dragonborn heavy, but that's a separate. Okay. That's a whole separate class. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, we did we see anything while we crossed the river here? Uh, yeah. Um. So, as you get across here, it's you start seeing them kind of lumbering. Uh, they're about five feet tall. Um, shorter than Arlissa, but still there. Um, before we get to them, I say in a low voice, let me get one of the first hits on. And I just prep my bow, not preparing a spell or anything, but I'm just getting it ready. Yeah. Okay. They're all just kind of spread out around this cave. I'm just gonna grab a couple of pebbles off the ground. Okay. Before I have cantrips. <laughs> okay. Uh. So yeah, y'all y'all see them? They're just they're there. They're just kind of standing there, I, keeping I... watch. Ready. Obviously, pulling out the great axe. I uh, pull go. out them all. All right, and y'all are going to start attacking. The second I lay eyes, I see the first one. I mean, y'all, y'all, y'all see them. I can see them. Yeah, you can see them. And I take it they don't see us because we're not in combat yet. No, they have dark vision. <laughs> and you just, you had lights up. We're just so. looking at each other. Yeah, so they see you. They just haven't done anything yet. <laughs> so y'all see each other and you just kind of sort of staring at each other is this, is you this thought like you were sneaking up on them but it's not like you're completely no, obscured by no, darkness no, I'm, no, I'm, just, I'm wondering if they've seen us yet because I, I know I have the dancing lights on. they have dark vision to 120 feet Okay. so uh, they saw you before you saw them and they saw okay, your lights fine. way far away this is that's like fine. a TikTok bet hey, hey, as long as they haven't as long as they haven't um, initiated combat yet uh, closest one, Scorching Rays. <laughs> okay. Murder hobo, got it. I mean, they're mushroom folk. What are we supposed to do? Smile and nod and chat with them? I mean, they haven't shot us yet. Alright, <laughs> no, well, I guess no. we're, we're rolling initiative. Uh, do your... <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> I mean, look, they're necromancers. That's enough for me. What are we supposed to do? Uh, 12. Revolting. Oh, roll initiative? Yeah, yeah roll initiative. Yeah, um, fucking pathetic. 18. Uh, 8. And then, well, Kuvar. The Atlas, 9. <laughs> All right. So. <laughs> oh, so our commission isn't to be friendly with them. With them. Our commission is our, to kill them. Our, our Alistha, you use your scorching ray. Our commission uh, was to end the problem. Roll. Go ahead and roll. <laughs> there are diplomatic ways to end problems. <laughs> uh, it's not great. <laughs> Well, what is it? <laughs> uh, hang on, let me, let me, it's one good one, one okay one, and one, okay, uh, this would be plus fours. 11, 12, and 18. So, two of them hit. One goes hurtling past, uh, okay, so Mike and they're... striking the side of the cave entrance. Okay, so their AC is 12, got it. Spang! <laughs> Uh, it's one. the cave door. So it's, it's technically 4d6 because two of them hit. Oh, oof. That's much, much better. Um, that's fine. 12. 12 damage. 12 damage, you said? Yep. 12 fire damage. All right. The 
then upon so are you what's the distance for that or are you just it's like 120 feet yeah so you're fine being here all right so uh top of the round now that combat has officially started uh they're pissed you have attacked them and <laughs> now they are they all of them kind of simultaneously turn and look at the group of you um the when that one or when the two scorching rays hit they all winced it wasn't just the one all of them kind of reeled back at in in the pain and now they all eyes are trained on you uh this one is going to come up to atlas uh fucker and just wail on you with a uh fist attack just gonna punch you and that's gonna be yeah okay that's gonna be a 18 hits hits all right Six. Ten damage. You take six damage and four poison damage. Mm, fun. <laughs> All right. And then that's going to be its turn. Next up is Aralista. It's currently dead. Oh, yep. Aralista is dead. The, 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 the shock from the attack of like, <laughs> oh, they all turned at us. Uh, no, <laughs> Rest in peace. Oh, Aralista, goodbye. Well, we're up. Shock's needed, yep. Yeah. To be honest, I never thought that the first death in this group would okay. be a fucking heart attack. So. <laughs> got it, got it, got it, got it. Sorry, I was muted. It's fine. Um, <laughs> the one closest to seven is the one that hit, correct? Yes. Mm -hmm. Punch. Bonus action. Okay. I am... Oh, nope, bonus action. I am using one of my blade songs. Okay. Uh, which, let me just double check. Okay. Um, being a hundred, I'll just stay where I am for now. And I am going to the one close to Atlas Magic Missile. First level. Okay. Oh, so let me get my uh, D four is out. Roll your so damage. Huh? Roll your damage. Yeah. We can see all the stats. We can there. see stats. You're still, you're still displaying. I'm, I'm uh, not. The thing is, I'm not displaying the fact the uh, desktop. We can't see Discord though. It's yeah. the previews that are coming up. That the, it's oh, showing. the previews are coming up. Yeah. 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 No, it's not the previews, but when you clicked into Chrome, we saw the stats. Break. I didn't. Even, I didn't even click into it. It's if I do this, I guess it like shows that. I don't know. It's being weird. Good. So it's, it's three D fours. Yeah. Good. Then... Discord's being real funky today, and I don't Ten. like it. Ten, Ten? damage on that. Ten yep. damage. All right. Yep. That one. Uh, the the magic missiles just pierce through it, and it falls and dissipates into spores. Uh, it dies. <laughs> and it falls. Yeah. All right. Next up is another Mykonid. This one. God. Hold on. This one is going to come up to about here. 
here or, and then it's gonna end its turn there this one's gonna move here and then yeah no this is a legitimate order it's three of them in a row uh, uh I thank no you in which can go wrong <laughs> so fucking stares at me at the front of the goddamn line yeah thank you they're, they're all tank. gonna move these three are gonna move forward and then it oh. is Voltax's turn um. Oh boy. <laughs> so you, let me let me just say very quick. Teddy lightning will be very useful right now. Let's see. I think what's gonna happen here is I'm gonna move up towards the one that's near in front of me there, the one that's mm -hmm. close to, the closest one there, and this then one? Uh, yeah. All right. And then activate uh wild surge. <laughs> going to rage. So going into here um, will count as difficult terrain as Callum is no longer with you. Okay. So you're going to have half speed. So that you can move about here. Is that close enough to attack so you're them here, with my uh, great axe? Or? We'll, we'll say here. Yeah, 15 feet. Yeah. So yeah, cause you're, say, you're moving 30, 30 feet, right? So, yeah. So yeah. So yeah, you're able to move here. Okay, so... so you're gonna activate um, you're gonna go into a rage and activate wild surge yeah let me i need to properly pull up that table though because i okay this, uh, magic. there we are all and the right fear here. just strikes in my heart any any guesses as to what we're gonna roll today uh boys yeah it seems like titty lightning's on the table <laughs> no, <God>. no. <laughs> no. So uh, the one in front of me uh, needs to succeed on a uh, a dexterity, uh, or is it? No, it's not dexterity. Uh, constitution saving throw of needs Const a constitution? constitution. Yes, needs a roll of thirteen. All right. Or higher. I'm assuming because saving throw of DC equals 13. It rolled a 17. Damn. So it is not blinded. Then I will just go ahead and uh, roll to attack here. Get everything else properly up. Um... So I'm going to go ahead and swing my great axe down on it. That is a 22 to hit. 22 to hit. That hits. sure so i need to just trying to make sure i have the damage number correct so um it's like that is going to be a plus four plus two so that's going to be 12 damage 12 damage all right yes. that's this one All right, 12 damage, that hits. And then, uh, it again, you hear this kind of, uh, when you strike it, you hear this kind of low wail as it, uh, as your great axe digs into its body. And that wail is accompanied by this wails of all the other Mykonid that are in view. It's kind of haunting. Oh. Uh, next up oh. is Wait. Quivari. So, 
noting that twice now that they've been attacked and they're all screaming. <laughs> Which seems a little, uh, weird. <laughs> yeah. A little odd. Yeah. I am going to take a bonus action to hide. to hide <laughs> and then I'm gonna move oh about 30 ish feet to the right there and kind of try to take a peek at what's in that cave uh up in here so uh, yeah I'm not gonna make it I'm not gonna make it quite that far but I'm gonna make it yeah like kind of in between the two of them there okay so you're trying to 30 feet. make wait roll your stealth check I did because you were what'd you get 19 to hide. 19? Okay, yeah. So, you'll be able to hide, like, going into this forested area, but up yeah, here... Yeah, you... I, want, I want to get to, like, the edge of that forest and take a peek in the cave kind of thing. Yeah. Um, it is a bit dark, so you're not going to be able to see, in like, too terribly far. Um, because you don't have dark vision. But... Ah! Alright, no... <laughs> uh, oh. So, I'm going to take, uh take one of my pebbles that I have, and I'm going to cast light on it and throw it in the cave. Okay. Because hey. light's a cantrip! That it is. <laughs> uh... <laughs> well. This can only go well. Let's go. <laughs> Hold up. Oh, also, just one very fear. Just very, very quickly, I want you all to note on the side of just screen what the cave's name is. Oh, yeah, that it's that's just the name of the map. Okay. Don't, don't worry about that. Okay. <laughs> Le legitimately, do not, not worry. You don't have to worry about that. It is just the I, name of I, the I, fucking image. I wasn't going to act on it. I was a little worried about it. <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't got to worry about that. Literally, that's just the file name for it. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Oh, hey, a natural 20 on a dexterity check. Oh, well. <laughs> so, yay. Rock thrown in. Pebble thrown in. Glowing pebble with light thrown in. Yeah, right? Oh, boy. Wait. Ah! It's so big. Fuck. Oh, he big. Well, sort of. Should have taken my other second level spell slot. Shit. Oh, well. Alright. Now I can do this. Alright. So, you see... Uh, a big boy. No, actually, not a big boy. Um, it is just okay. uh, a human okay. that is covered okay. head to toe and fungus and spores uh vines are growing out his arm um and he it looks like uh i i, I haven't played left for dead but i imagine there are like spore zombies in that uh oh, i'd say oh more, yeah I'd say, looks, I'd say more so the clickers from looks uh, yeah it looks very reminiscent uh, of a clicker from, from that's uh, actually very not good left description. For, no, those okay. are left for dead no that, that's, that's from last of us yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, no, no. Yeah, scratch, no, no. scratch the Left 4 Dead reference. This is more yeah, in line with a clicker, yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay. That, that's what I was thinking of, too. Um, but, man, <laughs> oof, though. Listen, I, I play video games sometimes. Just not the zombie ones or, you know, major AAA titles. We play Genshin Impact here. Yes. <laughs> we, we play weeb shit in this household. Yeah. Um, but yes, that is a that's, that's a bonus action and two actions, so I'm done. <laughs> okay, so you're done. And next up is Atlas. The fourth one should be. I was say huh? should be Atlas because he rolled one less yeah. than me. <laughs> I'd hope so. Otherwise, this is not looking good for me. No, Atlas, you're dead. Um, lightning strikes you from the sky. You're just 
a pile of lime. Look, <laughs> yeah, we knew that this was coming at some point be- that uh, lightning would strike me, so um, I'm already prepped. I can't believe Atlas died to titty lightning. <laughs> what a shame. Fucking swear to God. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to push forward on that middle one, just uh, just above Kavari, and I'm oh. going to attack with. I'm going to rage and attack with my maw. All right. Six. All right, you're gonna rage and attack with your mall. Yep. Go for it. Yep, yep. Split. <laughs> I was waiting for him to take a swing and turn it into dust. Dust. Uh, let's see again. Um, twelve to hit. That will just hit. Oh, and then what's going on? Make your attack. There we go. Uh, 14 damage. All right. That was this one. Uh, it it's looking a little worse for wear, as you just slam into it, and it kind of. It, it, just a trunk of it is taken out as you swing through it. It's still standing, but it, it's looking hurt. Um, and it, that same screech kind of just reverberates through the entire forest as uh, you damage it. And, um, yeah, that's my action, so that's it for me. All right. Next up is this this boy right here. Uh, he's going to come up and go. Right now, he was right here, right? Yeah. yeah. One, two, three, four. He's gonna get to about here, and then uh, yeah, he's just gonna stay there. Uh, and then, wait. Yeah, he's just gonna stay there. Alright, and then top of the round again. It's our Alista, since that one's dead. Our <clears throat> Alista, you up. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep, I know. I, somebody was just inside. No. Uh, somebody just walked in. Um, uh... So which ones can I see? Uh, you can see the one ahead of you uh, engaged with Atlas. The other two you cannot see. They are obscured by the uh, forest. What about the one? Uh, so I take oh, it. That's around the corner. So you can only see this one. All right, here's and you can barely one. see this one. So I'm going to move up to the end of that tree line right by the fallen tree right there. Right up here? Yep. Okay. Uh, so I can see the one to my left and the one in front of me? Uh, you can see these three, yeah. Okay, awesome. The one directly above me. This one? Yep. Okay. I'm going to cast... Uh, fuck it, magic missile. Okay. Uh, first of the slot. Four, six, 11 damage. All right. That was... Yeah. All right. And then because that's 25 feet, I have... How, how far in front of me was that? Sorry. Uh... One, two, three, four... No, no, my movement. Sorry. Uh, you are back here, so uh, one, one, right, one, here. right here. Yeah. One, two. About twenty feet. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, yeah, you're twenty feet, thirty feet. So 30 your feet. your movement is spent. Nope. What? No, oh no. Because I have a blade oh. song. 
So what are you making a dash? Can you make means a dash? I, no. Um, Blade Song gives me ten extra feet of movement. Oh, okay. So I'm gonna back up. Okay. Like right, like directly back, so towards the trees, not at an angle. Oh. Yep. Okay. All right, you're there. Next up is Sid. My, uh, that's this one, the one that, um, you did 11 damage, right? Uh, me? I did 12. No, no, no yeah, no, it was, uh, it was a shock. Yeah, you did 11 oh. damage. So, next up is this one. It's going to move, uh, up here and stop. Uh, can't move anymore. Then we're going to go to this one. This one is going to uh, go up to you, Voltac, mm -hmm. hold up its uh, hand, and spray spores out in front of you. Make a constitution saving throw. Oh, boy. Twenty. All right. You are uh, fine. You, you bat the spores away and uh, it doesn't seem to affect you at all. Um, next up is Atlas. Uh, well, it's still the Myconid, but Atlas. Atlas. The, this, this one is going to do the same thing to you as it raises its hand and uh, releases spores out in front of your face uh, make a dc or make a constitution saving throw 22 all right you're fine um all right then next up is voltac all right uh so i'm going since um uh, since I'm still raged, uh, I'm going to uh, make the one in front of me again do a uh, constitution saving throw with okay. the uh, titty lightning. Okay. That's what, 13? Correct. Plus two. Uh, it's... Oh no, that's plus one. That, that's the 10. Okay, so, so yeah. I get to throw a 1d6 radiant damage. Uh, five. Five? five. Alright. Um, and it is now blinded. Yep. So let's start our next turn. <laughs> and, uh, as that happens, um, I'm gonna swing around again and hit it with my great axe. Okay. Uh, that is going to be a 20 to hit. Okay. I'm assuming that obviously does. Yeah, it hits. <laughs> that, that definitely hits. All right, go ahead and uh, roll and your damage. That is another 12 damage. All right. And uh, you cleave through uh, that myconid, and it just falls and disperses into spores at the at your feet damn next up quivari i don't know what to do about this guy so it looks vaguely human right like it, it doesn't look like a human that's been taken over by plants kind of thing or is it like holy plants all the way through it, it's damn near like it, i mean it looks vaguely human it's humanoid shaped but it is but not yeah yeah it's not like obviously a farmer that's been taken over by the woods or something it's this uh, is something of the woods this is not something of the woods this is something that has been taken over you're necromantic Ooh, okay yeah damn it <laughs> i don't know if i want to kill it <laughs> no because i'm not a murder hobo no, they're necromantic. It's why I it's why I initiated combat. I'm not I, I, I don't I don't allow them. Yeah, that's fair. 
Okay. Well, in that case, uh... I don't think the one near me has seen me yet, so I'm just no. going to ready my rapiers. And just hang out ready. Alright. Do you want to prepare an attack, or hold an attack, hold an action? Yeah, it's not, I'm just going to hold the rapier. Until what? What's or the, what's the trigger? The, if that mechanoid comes, if any of the mechanoids come after me. Okay. Because I'm kind of hanging out in the bushes here. Alright. And then, Atlas. To it do. is your turn. It's my turn. E. Uh, I'm going to smash its brains in <laughs> with the uh, maul. Okay. Or whatever it has to think. So. And then uh, go ahead and make that attack. <laughs> this is so overkill. Uh, natural 20. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Flat. Six. Seven. Uh, 19. That'll definitely do it. Uh, you bring that maul down and smash it into spores that disperse all over the uh, the ground. And this boy is pulsed. All um, right. And I'm going to use my movement to move towards... Uh, the cave front up to about where that stick is on there up here yeah like right here yeah and, it's, and then i'm gonna end my turn there okay all right and then this one's gonna move it sees you moving up and it's gonna come up to you and uh it's going to attack you uh, can I sneak attack it now? <laughs> it didn't go by me. It it well, no it didn't me, but... it didn't go it's not within five feet of you. Yeah. Yeah. So I wouldn't say you can sneak attack it because it's not. Well, it didn't. Uh, I'll take my take my hold at the bottom basically. Yeah. Yeah. It it didn't get within your range. Yeah, it didn't get within opportunity range. So, yeah. yeah. Um. So take it's gonna my hold attack at you. The bottom of the round. Yeah. yeah. And then that's going to be an attack on you. That's going to be a 12 to hit. Misses. Misses. Clang. All right. So you, it swings at you and it just, you just kind of bat its hand away with your maul. Uh, you want nothing of this thing. Mm-hmm. All right, Alyssa, it is your turn. Awesome. Um, so how's the one, like, directly in front of me looking? Uh, it's hurt. But it's still charging toward you. How many of these do I have left? Oh, well, yeah, keep... <clears throat> so... Okay. Uh, Case that's tanky. Ooh, boy. Hang on. Sorry. Like, I was considering this, and then it's just like. Yeah, fuck it. Mm, Firebolt. Firebolt, I. Alright, cast your Firebolt. Uh, 21. <laughs> That'll hit. And then that's just uh, use these. As we hear the dice pour on the table. <laughs> it's ten fire damage. Ten fire damage? Yep. Alright. It is still standing. <laughs> However, it, the it hits and the flames burst and leaves a searing scorch mark on its body 
Um, it, it is about to go down. Uh, it looks like a tap would send this thing over. But it has not gone down. And thus, it is its turn. <clears throat> and it's going to move right up to you. And with its last breath... Shield. Oh, no. It's, <laughs> <laughs> that Funny. Uh, it's not going to do that. It's going to put its hand up in front of you and burst spores in your face. Shield. It, oh, wait, it's a dexterity saving throw. Shit. It's a constitution saving throw. Shit. I have advantage to that, though, because of Blade Song. On constitution <laughs> or dexterity? Uh, thought... Sorry. No, dexterity is a... Dexterity is a... Um... No, not even acrobatics checks are advantage, but constitution is plus four. Okay, well, make a constitution saving throw. Oh, yeah, you gain a bonus any constitution saving throw. I'm going to use my lucky dice for this one, actually, because I don't want to fuck with it. <laughs> you, natural that's, one. That's, natural that's one. A that's a 19. Uh, the, the, duck is, uh, oh, the duck's not upright. <laughs> okay. The spores have no effect. And it just looks at you seething in anger. <clears throat> Tap. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright. Uh, right. Next up is Voltac. Oops. Madam Titty Lightning. Uh, <laughs> what say ye? Yes, yes, you, to you. Hmm? That's that's it. What? What? It's your turn. Madam Titty Lightning. Oh shit. Madam Titty Lightning. There. Yeah. Wake up. I'm spacing out. Don't mind Wait, me. Is this top around or bottom around? It, this, this is, is the towards top. the bottom of the top. Line. Oh okay. Yeah. It's towards the bottom because it's very because the uh, attack. You. I know. Me. Yeah. Is the order. No. Um. I am going to... Oh boy, do I have enough movement? Let's see. I will... Do I have enough space to move to the one in front of Arlesta? One, two, three... Uh... Yeah, I'll let you move diagonally. Is that shit? Because diagonally is half... Here, you're you're at half speed, but like this would be right, right, but diagonally. that right, but that would be because does you're diagonal right. consume? No. Well, you'd probably get enough if you just went straight you, out, like you're, out of you're the forest here. anyway. Yeah, you can, you can get to here. Yes. All right. Um, we're gonna once again, uh, third time's the charm. Well, you uh, already hit it needs... once with a titty lightning. Is this the same one? This is not the same one. Well, I'm gonna this hit this one with it. <laughs> All right, this you is kill a it with one pity with lighting. Lighting. I'm gonna be fucking yeah. annoyed. All right, go for Regard it. Regardless, lightning. it go. exists. Go. Therefore, uh, lightning. It's, it's a 13. <laughs> yes. Natural 20. Damn. Uh, All right. Well, worth a try. Uh, gonna swing. Lovely, lovely, great axe at it. Uh, that is a 17. That yeah. will hit. Beautiful. Just drop it on it. <laughs> it, it, it narrowly dodges the titty lightning and looks at you and is just like... <laughs> it's like irritated. 13. Damage. 13? Yeah, yeah. You, you kill it. <laughs> And it's it's dead. Uh, Quivari, it is your turn. I'll step up behind this one that's attacking Alice and sneak attack it. I guess. All right. I guess. I guess. I guess I'll kick uh, his ass. Also, would Rudy have uh, advantage due to flanking? Well, yes. Yes, that's you have to flank the sneak attack. Yeah. 
okay. Yeah, because uh, if since the en the other the enemy is within five feet of Atlas, he automatically yes, that, gets that's the sneak, sneak attack. attack. Yeah. yeah. I get like yeah. Oh, so close to the natural point. Eighteen. All right, that'll hit. Make your attack. I have a button for sneak attack. Eight damage and the sneak attack gets five damage. Thirteen total. Thirteen total. All right. Uh, once again, Atlas, you're greeted by with uh, by Quivari with a, a rapier through the chest of the Mykonid. <laughs> uh, it just come, kind of comes up right to, near your face, and you just kind of back up, and you're like. Got it. <laughs> and, uh, uh, I just at, with the sport, you know, goes away. How's it going? <laughs> sport goes away. I'm just like, we really need to have a talk about you and your rapiers, <laughs> and my face about to be impaled. Uh, unfortunately, it's still standing. It hasn't gone oh. away. Yeah. <laughs> Atlas, it uh, is your turn. However, all right, it's going down with them all. <sighs> Fucking natural one incoming. <laughs> Nah, eleven. It does not hit. It it looks at the the rapier that has impaled it, and as it's pulled out, it looks back up at you and narrowly dodges as you pull your maul. Uh, Quivari, this maul it comes inches <laughs> from your face. Oh, you want to have a talk, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Look, eye for an eye. <laughs> And speaking of which, I back up 15 feet. Peace out. <laughs> uh, this Enjoy way. Enjoy the fun. Yeah. All right, it's gonna make a attack of, uh, of opportunity, opportunity against you <laughs> as you as you're backing up. Uh, you really should have thought that one through. Listen, listen. That's gonna I'm be a 14. Big, strong... 14 misses. Okay. Yeah. It tries to swing out at you, but uh, it, it's still a little shook from getting impaled. I'm just, I'm just going by, waving, smiling. Enjoy <laughs> the fun. And then uh, it turns to you, Quivari, and it's going to make a fist attack on you. Get back to your tank. <laughs> uh, that's going to be a 16. That'll do it. All right. That's going to be six bludgeoning damage. And four poison damage. So the actual attacks we've been hit with have all been fucking ten damage. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. All right. It is now back to the top of the round with Arlista. Uh, firebolt. You Wait, can't see it. it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, 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 wait, can I see it? No. Uh, <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna move 30 feet up towards that. Like, I use all my movement towards Atlas. Alright. One, two. If, if that would even take all of my movement. It's gonna take, like, a, a good majority. You, you'll get. You, I mean, you, if you want to get next to Atlas, you can get right here. And around the general area, just to, until I can see it and firebolt it. Firebolt yeah. like, right. like, you're fine where yeah. you're at. Yeah, fireball. All right. Thank God this is plus six. <laughs> Thirteen. That'll hit. <laughs> Roll damage. Eight. Eight. Eight fire damage. Eight fire damage. <laughs> <laughs> this thing's still standing. Uh, you have a knack for that. Yeah, it's still standing. Son uh, of a bitch! <laughs> this happened last session, it's happening now. What is with you, Shot? Just fucking kill him. Can't finish him off. <laughs> Meanwhile, right. the person who's always got attacked first and never hardly killed anyone has gotten two kills so far. Let me see my bones. Quit playing with your food! <laughs> <laughs> this is where Shot tries to find, I need to find something, I have to kill it now. Like, come on. I'm looking. I, I'm still waiting for a... This isn't exactly how you smoke a shroom. No, I... <laughs> it, it, it's probably got, like, one health or something, so, like, blow on it, please. 
<laughs> that is their house. I'm... Yeah, I'm just gonna wait it's there. It's got... It's All right, got you're gonna wait there? It has one health. I, I mean, I, I use my... Barely action. sure. My movement. My bonus actions right. are not attacking based. No, two health. So, as uh, you do that, uh, Quivari, out of the corner of your eye, you notice that... Oh, the, it's walked over my life. It, it's, <laughs> it's, it started to move towards you. Uh, out of the cave. Oh, is that 15 feet? Oh, that's 15 feet. Hey. Actually, what is, what is its movement that I can do? As long as it gets within 15 feet of me and this guy. There you go. <laughs> Yeah, it's out here. Okay. Cool. We get. It. It's within fifteen feet. I'm happy. Yeah. Um. And funny enough, you see others start to appear <laughs> at the entrance of the cave. Uh, let me get here. And... Clone, clone, clone. Oh, cheater. <laughs> There we go. All right. Oh, uh, well. Bite him. Then we're going to go down to Voltak. He's already tried during this session. Voltak, what do uh, you do? Um, oof, duh. I don't... Uh, you have killed... So it... You have attacked something, so you are still raging. Good. Uh, hmm. You know what? A weird light I'm pulsating from your chest. <laughs> <laughs> I am going to move uh, as close as I can to the one in front of uh, Kavari. Like right. as, as 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 like as close as my thirty feet will take me. Uh, I think, yeah. right you're, do it. you're like right here. Yeah. One, five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. Yeah, right here. Yeah. So okay. You, cool. You um, can charge right up on it. Hey, beat its ass. I'll let beat you take ass. a while. Beat Guess what's ass. about to happen to it. Titty lightning. <laughs> yes. Titty lightning. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so it needs to make a uh, yep. 13 constitution. God damn. Uh, yeah, yeah that, doesn't, that doesn't save. <laughs> That's a nine. <laughs> uh, it takes three damage from that and is blinded. Provided it's still living, so after the lightning, <laughs> you you run up, you charge, and you go, <laughs> oh! <laughs> and the lightning just bursts forth from your chest and sparks all over it, and it uh, just disintegrates. <laughs> I just kind of, I just kind of like, since I'm like in rage, I'm just kind of like. Just like panting like this, I just kind of look over, <laughs> look over at Kavari and just, go away. just kind of be like a, like a, like a what? <laughs> huh? <laughs> <laughs> I am All right. Intrigued and slightly aroused. Let's get. Ah. <laughs> All right. Unless uh. Clone, clone. Yeet. Yeet. Y'all thought this combat encounter was done. Holy fuck. <laughs> hey, there's more. <laughs> uh, we have to assess what they are before we kill them. But... I my think vote, kill. My, my vote's itching towards maybe we should just start killing <laughs> Uh, it, it's coming from the person who just decided to attack out of nowhere earlier. They're necromantic. Uh, hey, like, out of, uh, out of curiosity. Uh, just a no. Like, Jet. Yes. How many rounds have we gotten so far out of curiosity? Uh, so that would have been round four. Okay. Uh, you are just heading cause... into round five. Because I'm stopping okay. the, I'm restarting this. Uh, yeah. Where? No, I'm cause... just making sure because rage last 10 rounds so I'm yeah, just, yeah yeah yeah, yeah. So this, is, that. this is going into uh, round five 
Yeah. Yeah, round five. Cool. Well, you're still and, in round four. Which means I have. All, I also have one more round of plate song. Hold on. Let me go. Advance this to that. All right. Quivari, you are up. <sighs> Like this thing, that one bit. Uh, hum, hum, hum. You know what? I'm going to uh, just get to the to the, to the side of Voltac here and say, uh, "Go ahead and ready up for the." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, by, all, by all means, go ahead. Clavari, <laughs> not one to get like... their hands dirty. <laughs> Voltec like vaguely acknowledges it. It's just, just still I'm absolutely gonna, I'm gonna enraged. Ready. I'm gonna ready for them to come at us. <laughs> okay. Which by the by the way that the lightning still counts as an attack, correct? Uh. For rage it purposes. Can yes, yeah. Okay. It, you've attacked something. Right. This is all new, so I'm ensuring I'm doing things correctly. Yeah. All right. Uh, even though I missed, does that in, uh, include an attack or? No, you have not attacked something. So I think you need to attack something within two turns or your rage ends. Uh, do, 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 do. Uh, um, so your rage ends early if you're knocked unconscious, if your turn ends and you haven't attacked a hostile creature since your last turn Yeah. or taken oh, damage since then. That would be two rounds then. Yeah, it's yeah. two rounds. So if, if okay. at the end of your second round, if you haven't killed anything, you lose your yeah. Yeah. So or at least hit it some or damage. damage. Or yeah. taking damage. Yeah. 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 All or right. No, taking taking damage ends it, I believe. No, no, no taking damage is not. Or taking damage. So, so, gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. Or I'm just reading that. Yes. Yeah. So like, if you if you for some reason move but you can't make an attack but you still get attack, you don't lose your rage. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. So if I stayed there and the thing attacked me, we would have been good for another two. Yeah. Um, right. Okay. I'm moving up to that first fucking creature thing there and gonna attack it. Well, okay. So you're going to make a move out of the dice tray so I can actually roll. Yeah. Okay. Go for it. Uh, do, 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 do. 14. Also, I like how D&D Beyond still says I have 22 health. <laughs> Listen, I, 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 it literally, in the because the encounter tracker is an alpha, it doesn't give me your hit points to adjust things. So I can't mm. do anything. Well, it, the one, the extension on on the stream still says. Yeah, re refresh it, refresh you, it. You guys have you guys have to manually change oh. it because yeah. I don't have your hit points. That's a, yeah, I change it. Yeah, but on the no. I'm just saying the extension on stream says I oh. still have full health. Yeah, no, no you I'm, you have to I'm you not. have to refresh it for the extension. I had to do that. On, um, I have to refresh it on mine. Hold so. on, hold on. Yeah, Later. Uh, Fourteen to hit. Fourteen to hit. That'll hit. Yeah. Omega, get the. For, for 12 damage. 12 damage. So you're going to just smash this thing into bits. Uh, you see... Wait, hold on. Uh, 13. Yeah. I mean, Sorry. you're still smashing it to bits. What part of smashing it to bits didn't you understand the first time? I know, but I had to make sure that I had the correct numbers, okay? I had to state properly. I forgot. I did a plus Atlas, don't four. Do I, did a, I did a plus four. I needed a, it was actually a plus five. Listen, you smash this thing into bits. Mushrooms, fungus, and blood and guts go everywhere as you just bring your maul down and it just smashes like a slinky. Being go Like, when you release a slinky and it just goes... Yeah, that. Except it splatters everywhere. <laughs> I look back and think you're good. I think these are all bad. over you. Uh, uh, I'm going to end my turn there. All right. Uh, so, the thing is dead. Um, these two. Oh please! Oh please! Let all of them come up on you. Are gonna move up here. This is gonna move here, and then that will be top of the round. Arlista. 
I'm moving up right next to, um, right next to or behind Atlas. However, I can see into the cave. It'd be right here. Can I see the fuck in the back? No. The fuck in the back. You mean big man right here? No, you cannot see him. He is out of your dark vision range. And uh, oh, what about the light? What well, about light. I mean, as I say, there is a light sitting there. At that, like, yeah, there, there is a light, but it, I mean, these guys are kind of in your way. You don't see him yet. He, he has not officially see, revealed himself. You see these shadows moving in the back of the cave. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm, 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 I'm burning these guys. Like, how many can I see? Can I only see those two? Yes. Okay. Um, magic missile, two on... Uh, fuck, all on the right one. All on the right one? All on the right one. Okay. Four, five, six, seven, plus three... 10 damage on the right one. Alright, it's still standing. They have 11 health, I think. 11 or 12, it's in that uh, area. I mean, you you killed at 11, and when you corrected it to 12. No, I had yeah, 12 I and corrected it to 13. Got it. So, it is 11 or 12. <laughs> Just because it's you fucking box doesn't mean you get to sit in the dice tray. Pretty easy, fish. What is the box? If it fits, it what? sits. Is your fish stream offline? Yeah, it's offline for the moment. I gotta do some stuff to the tank. All right, cool. Oh, right. right. people are asking. Yeah. No, no, I, I, I just checked because I have that. Or I always have that where I'm sure doesn't chill up. So okay. Mm. Oh yeah, I took it down because I got right. some stuff to the tank and change the water. It's the whole thing. Yeah. All right. Uh, but, uh, then it is. Uh. Big lad's turn. He is going to finally come out of the shadows. Come out and play! And he's just going to stay there, watching. Um, yeah. And then this guy is going to be here. And then Voltak, it is your turn. My turn? Yes. All right, let's see. Miss Titty Lightning. <laughs> well then. Uh, let's just uh, get it over with. Uh, I'll move up uh, to the right of, uh, be on the right side of Atlas. And I'm assuming that should Right over here? Yeah, a little bit of forward. Like, like, yeah, like that. Uh, I will... Let's see, I should be able to hit the one... I should be able to see the one, like, st almost nearly straight up for me, right? Like this one right here? Uh, not the one to the right. The one, the one, like, this one? kitty corner. Yeah. All right, yeah, be... you can see that uh, one. I will hit it with... Uh, Z lightning. What is the range on that? Uh, it should be thirty feet. Okay, yeah, you're fine. All yeah, right. See, you can see with it, or I know, yeah, another creature of your choice that you can see within thirty feet. Yeah. Okay. So you run up to it, rage, and just kind of Iron Man <laughs> Unibeam. <thing. laughs> Finally, ah. grasping control of the the wild. Yeah, at magic. least, at least, fully understanding Tiny Lightning. Yeah. As you grasp control of it. All right, go ahead and... Uh, All right, that's, it needs what, the, 13? Uh, yeah. 13, still, yes. Uh, that rolled a 15. Damn it. Uh, isn't it half damage for saves? No, not in that one. That one, it needs a constitution Gosh. saving throw, or it takes damage. Yeah. So... Um, do I still have movement? Uh... You were back here. That I, you were like right here. So I would say yeah. that. Yeah. That yeah. That took all your movement. To move there. Okay. Yeah. I suppose then at that point I'll just end my turn since I'm nowhere near close enough to hit it with the axe. All right. Yeah. Y y even if I think you would have five more feet, but like even still then, wouldn't be. It wouldn't yeah, be enough to make. You wouldn't a be enough. Yeah. So. All right. Quivari. 
what you want to do. Um, I'm going to go up to Atlas's shoulder and say, hey, let's go get him. Because <laughs> <laughs> I want something with more health in front of me as we go get them. But I have an action. I just don't want to be the first one up there. Yeah. We're going to hold until after Atlas's turn. Okay. Uh, Atlas. Follow him in, but hold until after his turn. Yeah. Yeah. Atlas, it is your turn. So you're holding an attack, like throwing knife or whatever? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And half my movement because I only moved like five feet there, but yeah. Okay. Atlas. Atlas? It is you. Atlas. Sev's not on camera. Big Sev's dead. Cat. Shake, shake. Shake, 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 shake. Atlas. Shake, 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 shake. <laughs> Atlas is just mindlessly staring into the void. I, 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 I kind of, I kind of like look over, look back at Quivari and go, "I'm pretty confident it hit him with it." <laughs> <laughs> so the the downside to cool doing, lightning. the downside to doing a D and D online. You can't just people like... can walk away. I can't just be like, "No, get back here." <laughs> How very dare. Under the table. Mm -hmm. So how's everybody doing? How's everybody enjoying the <laughs> D&D today? Um, kind of sad that I didn't get a new effect. Oh, uh, you know, it happens. Happy though that, I, happy though that uh, oh, hey, I have successfully taken out several things. It's Atlas. <laughs> He's finally decided to join us. <sighs> <laughs> Duty calls, duty calls. <laughs> Doesn't no matter bathroom, what we're doing. No bathroom breaks. Um, so it's my turn? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And I'm following you in, so careful where you go. I'm rushing. Uh, uh, do we see the big guy now? Yeah, he stepped out of the shadows. But oh, there's okay, two so people in front of him. So, Rody, you want me to run right up to that guy? I mean, you can run up to the two guys in front of him, and I'm okay with this. Uh, I'm going to run up to the two guys in front. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Um, which one was, oh, which were the ones that were hit out of the right shock? One. The one on the right. Yeah. One on the right. This one. Uh, do, 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 shit. Um, they have 11 or 12 health. Fuck. Um. Yeah, get out of the way. I'm going to... I'm going to attack the one on the left. The one on the left? Yeah. The one uh, Shock didn't attack. Okay. So Atlas is going to go up here uh, and attack that. Uh, 15 to hit. 15 to hit. That'll hit. Uh, 15 damage. 15. Uh, you're gonna cleave right through it. Uh, as you smash it again. It, this time into the cave wall, you just take it, take your maul, whack it, and drive this thing's body into the cave wall, and it just splatters. Blood and, uh, vines and fungus, uh, Mushrooms everywhere. Uh, while I do that, I yell out, uh, uh, Danger, uh, 10 foot splash zone. Uh, please be clear. <laughs> and I'm done. All right. And then, hold on. All right. So, you can, for readying an action, you can hold one thing. You can't, as a reaction, you can't hold, like, movement and an, uh, an attack. So, it's yeah. only one thing. So, yeah. wh which were you going to do? You're just going to move up with um, Atlas? No, I'm going to, I'm I held and ready to Jim's magic missile. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> 
<laughs> All right. So, I have to actually roll saving throw. Right? I have to actually roll uh, spell attacks. I it's fucking really love this spell. spell. I, 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 to hit. I really, really fucking love this spell. So, if you've never read the description of it, it's fantastic. So, any apprentice wizard can cast a boring old magic missile, sure. <laughs> <laughs> The shots fired at our Arlista. Uh, shit. Sure, it always strikes its target. Yawn. Do away with the drudgery of your grandfather's magic with this improved version of the spell, as used by Jim's dark magic. Proceed. So I'm, going create, I'm going to create three twisting, whistling, hypoallergenic, gluten-free darts of magical force. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. By all means... <laughs> I'm reading this word for word, mind you. Oh I no, I know. Targets, so. Each dart targets a creature of your choice that you can see within range. Make a ranged spell attack for each missile hit. On mm -hmm. a hit, it deals 2d4 force of damage to its target. If it scores a crit, it's 5d4 instead of rolling damage twice. If the attack roll for any missile is a 1, all missiles miss their targets and blow up in your face, dealing 1 force damage to you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was... So there's a backfire effect on it, and I have to roll the hit, but I have hypoallergenic gluten-free darts. Actually, at level up, I was going to use this and replace it in rotation with magic. <laughs> okay. Because as it goes up, as it goes up each spell slot, you get one more dart instead of every other. Yeah. 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 By all means. So it's approved, but okay, so one, I'm going to shoot at the Mike Annoyed on, or the servant on the right, and then the other two are going for the big boy. I'm face palming so hard I disappeared from cam. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I love this one. Go so, for it. For the one on the, the one on the right, uh, rolls. It's gonna be a 17 to hit. That'll hit. And that'll be for six damage. Okay. And then the two uh. for the big guy uh, is going to be. Yeah, that on my. I hit the wrong guy's one. Clear. Okay. Rolling. 13 and... Nine. One hits. Okay. So one hits for... Seven damage. All right. So. Uh... As the the one hypoallergenic gluten free <laughs> magic missile soars towards the the spore servant, uh, it hits it. The light from the magic missile goes inside it and explodes, and suddenly there's confetti everywhere. You don't know how <laughs> it got there, but it's there. Yay! Yeah, and you hear a little yay. <laughs> No, I'm, and you just see me just like, really? <laughs> not covered enough? <laughs> I just, uh, danger! Vol party Vol zone. Vol Voltax is going like this. <laughs> Voltax just scared. <laughs> I, just, I Vol love Vol that Voltax doesn't know whether to be entertained or terrified. I was debating I whether or not it made like the whirly gig <laughs> sound or whether it exploded like, yeah. <laughs> It's a grunt, fucking grunt birthday party. Grunt birthday party. <laughs> Yay! Yay! Uh, uh, oh my god. That's what it does on a crit, is it does the grunt <laughs> birthday party. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, Alright. <laughs> Top of the round. Spell description. It's, my, it's my favorite spell description in the entire book. Top of the round. <laughs> Alright. Arlista. I'm going to make a mistake. Oh, yay. Oh, Do I... it. No, I'm not doing that yet. I'm not doing that yet. I'll save that. You're boring. Oh. Boo. <laughs> Boo. All right, I'll get that. I'm going gonna... <laughs> to... If this fucking no, kills me, I'm going to be so annoyed. Do what you want. Do what you want. As a bonus action. It's going to know you're so easily baited. Go ahead. As a bonus action, I'm going to misty step right in front of the... Uh... Um, Mechanoid? Mykinoid? My yeah. Mykinid? You Mykinid? Alright. Um, I'm gonna put my hand on its chest, and I'm gonna cast Burning Hands. Okay. Or 
roll to hit? It's a no. It's a dexterity check. It's a dexterity oh, save yeah. of twelve. Okay. That's so because you're touching it. Yeah. There's no. There's no miss. Please hit. <laughs> Thirteen. One. Thirteen. One? <laughs> Thirteen. <laughs> as soon as I saw that, I'm like, it's got to be either like a critical roll one or a thirteen, and somehow I'm willing to bet it's a thirteen. It rolled a thirteen, so I believe it takes half, half damage. damage. Yeah, it's still half it damage. It takes half damage, so now I have a question for that. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, burning hands was four d six. Is that two d six or four d six half? 46 half. 46. Roll the damage and then yeah, cut it in half. Damage, yeah. Okay. 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 So that's... That's four, isn't it? <laughs> mm, hang on. That might be 12, 16, 8 damage. 8 damage? Yeah. Okay. That would have been so fucking good if it hit. Uh, it would have been. You rolled... Oh, yeah. That would have been. Well, I know the average roll on the d6 is, you know, four. <laughs> uh, and then I have. So this is the sixth round, correct? Yes, this is round six. So I have until the end of this round, I believe, for. Lead Dancer. Okay. I'm gonna back up right behind my <laughs> up again. <laughs> Wait, how much movement do you have? Forty feet. With Blade Dancer, I have thirty-three. I have thirty feet naturally. Oh, wait, with Blade Song, yeah. With Blade yeah. Song, yes. Um, I have thirty feet naturally, and it gives me plus. Okay. He took the uh, teleport to get up there, the misty steps to get up there. So. So I, as you. I have my bonus action to go, and then I I'm taking the uh, uh, opportunity of attack as well. Yeah, you're gonna take that opportunity attack of opportunity. Can, can I reaction that or no? Can I reaction reaction? That's mm -hmm. a great question, actually. What? What are you so, trying to do? If it's a swinging at me, I'm going to shield. But I'm not sure if I can reaction a reaction. I mean, it's an attack, so yes, you're okay. using your reaction to its reaction. Yes, that, that still okay. counts. Cool. He still gets the attack. Yeah, you can shield against it. Yeah. Good, good, yes. good, good. However, it's using uh it's it's not gonna do that an attack it's Try going to, smack to you. It, <laughs> it's going to uh put its uh hand out in front of you and burst the spores out in front of your face and these are oh. like these purple like black spores that just Ooh. uh smoke out from its arm Thank God it's this turn still, because I still got my plus four to con. Yeah, make a constitution saving throw. Uh, double checking blade song. 20. Okay, you're fine. Yeah. All right. And then you back up here to Atlas. Atlas. Yep, and I'm glad the duck is treating me good today, so we'll know. I fucking hate you. Nice to know everyone fucking hides behind me. I mean, you're the most health in the party. What do you expect? <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see. It has how much movement? Ah, lovely. All right. Wait, before it goes, out of curiosity, how much how, how much movement did I take? You one, two, three. Or 20 feet if you want to get further back. I'm going 10 more feet back. Alright. <laughs> You're going to hide behind me instead. Okay. I see I'm hiding right. behind everyone. Alright. <laughs> Alright. Mm. Uh, so this guy is. Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Ha! Hmm. 
it's going to move here. And uh, it's going to raise its hands and push spores out in that just explode from its body, sweeping past all of you, including our Alista. <laughs> um, God, I have that plus four still. <laughs> it's, it's not, not a constitution help. saving throw. It's not any saving throw. Oh. Y'all just get this. They are the they are white spores. And as this cloud of spores hangs around y'all, you hear its voice uh in your head. Uh oh god. You come and kill my brethren. Thus we shall end you. And, and then, I shall shove my mall up your ass. And then it's going to, <laughs> it's going to move up again, uh, to Fuck, I have use the rest of its movement <laughs> to come up to, uh, attack up, up Atlas to and do a multi attack. Uh, cool. No, going into somebody's doesn't create an attack of opportunity. It's it's it's, trying it's, to it's, exit. it's leaving. Yeah. yeah. So that'd be like if yeah. he tried walking by. Yeah. If yeah. I try, if he tried to go past him, yes. However, no. Uh, so, uh, Atlas, make a DC uh, uh, Constitution saving throw. I'm not gonna tell you DC because you don't get to know. <clears throat> so yeah, it doesn't really fucking it. matter anyways. Yeah, natural twenty. No, 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 no. No oh, one. Natural one. Yeah. Oh, well. Uh, so it grabs your face and pumps these dark purple spores into your uh, lungs. We don't have a healer here. And you are poisoned <laughs> for one minute and you are incapacitated because you are now hallucinating. <laughs> Dude, fuck it, shit be tripping. Every, as soon as it grabs you, everything goes white. And then colors Ooh. just start to appear Wait. everywhere. Can I do something? You are tripping balls, my friend. <laughs> and then you're going to take a hit right to the gut. Uh, Whoa, fuck. Incapacitated, I don't need to make an attack roll, do I? Uh, incapacitated, you do need to make an attack roll, but you have advantage. Yeah, and yeah, it's yeah. yeah. You have advantage, and it's an auto uh, auto crit. I don't think you get auto crit, or is that no, crap? I don't think you get advantage because incapacitated me... is just the creature can't take actions or reactions, but the AC still applies. Yeah. Hold on, let me let me let me double let me consult D and D Beyond. I, I am I am looking at that. Paralyzed would be you get advantage, but incapacitated you don't. No. Paralyzed is incapacitated, but incapacitated is not paralyzed. Yes. So. Like, oh I could God. still technically oh, stumble yeah. out of the way yeah. of the attack. You're, yeah. yeah, you can't take actions or reactions. Okay. Yeah. That's all. It, that's literally it's, all it says. Wow, that's really? That's all it is, yeah. It, that's it, strange. If he's, um, since Atlas is poisoned as well, he has disadvantage on attack and ability check rolls. Yeah. That's that's the idea. Is incapacitated is just supposed to be the catch-all other. You have you're just in general unable to attack. Yeah. yeah. All right. So. Uh, yeah, it's gonna make an attack against you, Atlas. Uh, what the hell is that? Okay, that's a four plus three. That's a seven. <laughs> yeah. No. <laughs> <It's not even laughs> <hard>. Yeah. <laughs> So you you're tripping and you're like hmm, and dodge out of the way as it <laughs> swings at you and it looks a little annoyed by this. But <laughs> you're poison. It takes a it takes a fist at you and you're just like oh, ooh pretty light. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so Atlas, Purple. just so you know, you have dis <laughs> you have disadvantage on attack rolls and ability checks, but you can't make any of that anyways. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you can still make ability checks. Yeah, you, you can, can make ability checks, but you cannot make uh, you can't any you can, you, you can determine which colors you're seeing. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Purple. That's awesome. Orange. And then uh, this thing's going to move up here. Now, Voltec, you are awake. 
you are up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 you you see what it's done to Atlas, and Atlas is tripping balls, like dro actively drooling. What the fuck is with me and like getting just absolutely? I got <laughs> shit faced fucking last night where I passed out. Now I'm fucking tripping. Like what the hell is with my journey here? <laughs> um, I don't know. What is with your journey? I will say the last one that was totally intentional. This one. <laughs> Uh, this is a bad trip. Boy. Hmm. Let's Go and be see. on the trip in fact, man. Oh, God, this is I'm gonna hate this, but like I think Voltag, as much as Voltag does not want to try to get near the trippy thing, it also realizes that at some point, if it's not gonna go to it, it's gonna come to her. Yeah. So Voltag is gonna um, move up to within uh, attack distance and uh, one titty lightning. Okay. <laughs> so. No, I'm not going to use that one. I'm going to use this one. It's a 13, though I'm sure it's probably going to save just fine. Yeah, it does. Yeah. And swing with the uh, great axe. All right. 14. It hits. Thank God. <laughs> Voltax <laughs> scared. <laughs> Voltax scared. All right. Uh, 12. 12, to hit, 12 damage? Okay. I can, I, I've gotten at that point, I've rolled a six so consistently on that D12, I know the number outcome with the modifiers. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Quivari, you are up. I'm gonna go kind of in that square behind Atlas and Voltec. Right here. Poke my head through them. Uh huh. And kind of pointing to the right, cast my breath weapon. So breath can, weapon? I'm gonna try to hit the, bi the big boy and the servant on the right as well. Kind of aim it in, in that direction, like to the right of them. So it's a cone, it would in it would keep. That's why I, I was gonna like poke my head between the two of these two if I could, because that makes eh. Yeah, but at the same time, like it's with the way the the it is, it would be like I don't have cone, a yeah. I don't have a cone, but it it would, it would be like it's a cone tool, yeah. Yeah. Give give me a cone tool. Uh, yeah, it it it'd be like this, but like oh, actually, you know what? Look, we'll just use the quadrants that it gives us, like this. Oh, 90 degree cone. That's a, that's aggressive. Um, hmm. it, it wouldn't be quite that cone, but yes. <laughs> On that case, I guess I'm just going to uh, take my finish over the tripping Atlas laying on the ground and shoot the big guy with a short bow. Okay. Uh, does that have disadvantage being close? No. Short bow has no limit. Okay. Long bows do, but short bow has no limit. Okay. I was just making sure. I I haven't used... I haven't played play in a hot minute. Range. I haven't been a player in a hot minute. I've been a DM more often than not. So... Actually, you know what? I don't know if a longbow has a, a minimum. I, I, I don't... Yeah, the longbow has... Oh, the longbow has a disadvantage over a distance. And same with the short bow. You can use the short bow over its 80 foot distance, but you take this advantage. There's no minimum for okay. range on it. So, anyways. Yeah. Uh, threat. So that's a 20. Natural 20. And okay. Wait. 18? Okay. So it's a nat 20, so threat, and then an 18 to hit. Yeah. So hits for double damage. Six. Six. I rolled a one, so yes, oh. one plus two times two. <laughs> it's one d six plus two, so six. It's yeah. the minimum double damage I could do with it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. 
Atlas, uh, you can't take any actions or reactions, my dude. So, uh, you're just, you're leaning up against the rock wall, just kind of, pretty light. <laughs> can't I constitution, try and constitution save? Uh, can you out of this? Let me see. I think so. Yes. Think oh, so. yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, you can yeah. repeat the same turn. You so, can yeah. make your save every turn, yeah. Uh, 12. That will just do it. <laughs> And I'm going to guess that my turn's over. Yeah, yeah that, that will end your turn. Um, At least I'm out of it. But you are no longer uh, incapacitated. The arrow going right over his head and into the guy's foot, apparently, is what knocked him out of it. Yeah, it is. Like, huh, uh, mm. All right. Wait. You're... It went into my foot? No, it was no, it, other... into the mechanism. Foot. Foot. Yeah. Oh, uh, okay. Release, like, it released its hold on you. Can I miss damage here that is against me? No. Uh, <laughs> but you are now snapped out of it. Yeah. Uh, our Alista. What you Magic doing? Missile Big. Uh, can I see Big Boy? I mean, three of your friends are right in front of it, so I wouldn't say yes. Can well, I the move idea around? is supposed to be that, well, yeah. The idea is supposed to be that you can see through friendly squares, but he still gets cover. Yeah, you, you, yeah, you, you can see through it, but is, I mean, it's an auto hit, so it doesn't, it, it ignores cover. Yeah, yeah, it's not like you have to aim, anyways. It's it, 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 missile. it ignores cover. I just need visual. I mean, yeah, you yeah. can see him. Cool, magic missile. Okay. Uh, that's six. Eight, eight plus three. Eleven. So eleven damage, yeah. Yeah. I, I was just marking off the uh, cast. Okay. All right. Big boy's still standing. Um. Looking rough though. As he's just being pelted nonstop. Uh. This boy is going to move up here uh, and attack you. Uh, with with a spear that's kind of just like attached to it's fused into its body. It's just going to stab you. Uh, Voltac. Okay. That's a 19 to hit. That hits. All right. And then that's what? 1d6. Yeah. Oh, no, that's that one. Where is it? There it is. Okay. You're going to take uh, 8 damage. Okay. All right. And then that ends its turn. Uh, this one is going to come up right behind the big boy. So there we go. All right. Uh, next up is big boy's turn. So... Uh, let's see. It's gonna make a multi-attack. It's going to, uh... Look at y uh, U-Voltac. And okay. release yellow spores at, out of its hand. Uh right into your face. Okay. Uh, make a constitution saving throw. It is going to be a uh, 22. All right, you're fine. Uh, however, it is going to punch you in the face. <laughs> uh, so <laughs> Fine, fine, fine from most likely paralysis. Uh, not fine from punch to face. Turns out 
that is one is a bit more physical. That's going to be a 16. That hits. Okay. And that is. Oh, oh, lovely. I need more dice. Oh my god. I'm going to die. That's it. Voltax dead. Nice knowing. We you. don't have a healer. Ugh. Yeah. Yeah. Man. We shouldn't have been so selfish with uh, hoarding those uh, healing potions, huh? But, you know, it's fine. I understand. Well, oh, yeah. Double -check. Who has Jock, those potions? Double, Jock, double check your inventory for those healing potions. Yeah, I don't have those potions. I'm pretty sure you took them. All right. Uh, I thought it was you that took them. The equipment. So that's going to be oh, we give eight to bludgeoning power? damage. Okay. And eight poison damage for a total I of sixteen don't... damage. I don't have the healing potions. I think Cobble has them. I think we gave them to the healer, who's not here. Uh, man, that's unfortunate. Well, Damn it. <laughs> Voltax had a wonderful fucking nine health. Yep. <sighs> All right. Uh, both tech needs to get the fuck out. Man, I've been tr I've been nice to y'all. Hey, nice. Uh huh. I've been can trying change, to. Can I, I change the Can I change this titty lightning into smite? <laughs> no. <laughs> smite. <laughs> yeah, the smite. So, the smite is a smite in its fist. I'm in your smite face. Smite this thing out of existence. Okay. 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 Um. All right. So it uh, just it. Bashes you in the face, Voltac, and it it hurts. Oh my god, I'm almost out of spells. Like a as well. motherfucker. All right, but it is your turn. Cool. Yeah, sure it is. Um, I'm probably God. There's no good way out of this. Because. If I leave, there's multiple attacks of opportunity. Because I can't blind them both. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. It's almost as if you've fallen into my trap. Can you disengage? Doubt it. Not a rogue. Yeah, not a rogue. Well, disengage isn't just oh, a it's a it's a it's an action. Yeah. yeah, you would use your action to disengage, but you would have to remove yourself completely from combat, mm -hmm. which is fine. I'm pretty sure. Hold on. Can I? Can let I? Me, let me look. Can I? Can I? Can I? Yeah, bonus? You so you can't. Take, you get two the actions, movement doesn't provoke. Yeah, for the rest of the turn. Yeah, so I could. So you can't I could shoot and disengage. So you'd have to disengage and then leave. Yeah. And that's all you could do. There's nothing else you could do. I could also, I could still use my bonus action well, you could, yeah, you with could. my wild surge. But apart from that, I cannot take any actual action. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That is your action. Yeah. So I'm going to hit, hit the mate, hit the big boy with, uh, lightning. Okay. Um, that's my bonus action. Nipples and rubs. All right, that'll uh, that'll hit. Cool. Um, yeah, roll the so let's three. roll d six. So that is four damage it takes from that, and it is now uh, blinded until my next turn. And then I'm gonna disengage and uh, retreat as close to Arlesta as I can make it. Okay. And you're going to. Ten, twenty, thirty. You can get here. Yeah. All right. It's kind of like gonna kind of like slowly like half crumple over and just be like, uh, <laughs> whose great idea was it to let y'all y'all fucking? Oh wait, that was me. <laughs> <laughs> Quit, Quivari. It is your turn. That is a put in my mouth. Thanks. <laughs> You should know your order. Uh huh. Cause I've got that on screen in front of me. 
Not long on. Okay. Atlas here, right in the way. So let's say, if we're using that same quadrant tool, can I hit the three of them without hitting Atlas from, if I point it to the right there, for the cone? Well, I mean... Because they're both to the right, because they're all to the right of Atlas, so can I just point to the right of Atlas and cone, and get the three of them? If we call it, like, a 45 degree cone. Uh... I think, I think even on the 90 degree cone, you can step forwards and not hit atlas yeah you wouldn't hit atlas but you would hit you wouldn't hit this as well you I wouldn't would get, get all three of them, them yeah. you would get these two i'll take those two then okay so you're I'll gonna get it right up here and go bah! okay not right up there not right i don't, I don't want to get well right that that's where you'd have to be to prevent <laughs> atlas uh, but that's only using one, that's only using 10 feet of moment movement yeah. So you still have more moving after. So I still have more moving after. Okay, so I'm going to take my breath weapon then and hit the two of them. All right, roll. And we mark that as spent. It uh, is now spent. As he's rolling, I just got it's my not, pound of dice. <laughs> it's not a roll. You uh, you roll the save. It's in the DC 11 save. Your pound save. of dice. Okay, DC 11. It, right. Yeah, DC 11. It just hits. Quarter pound. <laughs> Damn. All right. That's a 15 a for big boy and a 9 for this guy. So little guy's going to take full. Big boy's going to take half of oh, 11 damage. All right. So uh, this guy big boy takes six and little guy takes disintegrates. 11. <laughs> Into a wave of frosty spores. Yeah. <laughs> uh... Holy cow. He is looking rough. This man is uh, not having a good day. And then for my bonus action, I'll disengage. <laughs> okay. And take uh, my, the rest of my 20 feet to back out. Yeah, rogues. Or 15 feet or so to back out. Yeah, rogues. rogues. Ah! Boom! Gone. <laughs> <laughs> it's huge. Yes. A quarter pound of dice, for fuck's sake. <laughs> <laughs> yes. All right. What is this, McDonald's? <laughs> yes. So. It's a Royale dice. <laughs> uh, also, alongside, alongside this, uh huh, came this. <laughs> oh boy! Hold on, I can't see. It's adorable. Oh, look at that. Alongside this. Yeah. Came, came this. the the tiny die. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I have, I have a dino. I have, I think, a couple dino dice that I got. It came with a, a die that's just our list of size. <laughs> All right. Next up is Atlas. What you want to do, Me. bud? Uh, I'm attack big boy. All right. Go he for it. He is blinded, so shouldn't that... Oh, right, uh, he was blinded. That... Damn. Yeah, does that, oh, sh does that uh, create that... advantage on oh, rolls? Thanks. I don't remember if blinded does. I'm just it curious. Just, I think it just gives them disadvantage on theirs. Oh, okay. That is true. I'm just... Everybody's it up. That requires sight. Yeah, Dexterity so... does not. Yeah. Yeah. And constitution does not. Yeah. Constitution and dexterity do not. And so it's, it's just... Yeah. Gotcha. If it was like a perception check, yeah. But uh, it's not. And then attack rolls against the creature have advantage. And then I... Oh. Yeah. Uh, attack rolls against the creature have advantage, so I yeah. do have advantage on... Okay. Yeah, so you do have advantage. It's Having fun thing. there. It has advantage. Um, so I rolled a 19 and a 1. So oh, lovely. 19. Yeah. Yeah. Good thing or that. All right, that'll hit. I'm attacking with them all, by the way. Yeah, well, duh. Do you have something else to attack with? Well, that's a shitty roll. Yeah. Nine. 
He has a point. Nine. Nine? Uh, how do you want to do this? Hey. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I don't really have one for this one. All right. Well, you're just going to kind of take your maul and uh, embed it in its chest. And you s just decide to use all your rage. You grab the back end of your maul, pound it into the ground, and it just <clears throat> explodes into spores. Beautiful. And that's it for me. Yeah. There's still one spore guy left. Oh, I forgot somebody killed him. That nobody touched. Who's up? It is uh, our Alista. Blast magic missile. I'm using two of my oh. new D4s. Those are the words the DM loves to hear. The last spell slot. Oh, good. <laughs> yes. the trap. I still have cantrips in the longbow, so. Oh, hey, that Cyclops? <laughs> yeah, you know what? I changed my mind. No. <laughs> <laughs> and Majora all of a sudden appears out of nowhere. <laughs> Wild. Don't know how okay. that, that came Is here. that okay. Tiamat? Is that okay. Tiamat that we see I have, in there? <laughs> I, have a, I have a question. I'm going to put this in the uh, in, in, in D&D. &D. Oh, God. You're going to be a stupid fuck. Let me pull up Discord. Oh, you see, the answer is daily double. Is that cocked? Yes, that's a yeah, hundred. That's hundred and ten percent cocked. <laughs> that's like fully on its fucking side. That, that's cocked. That's in the corner. <laughs> is is that, that cocked? Is that cocked? That's fucking hilarious. Is is the sky blue? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's three three, so that's nine plus another three, so that's um twelve. Well, it bursts. Broke it. Yeah, you, you. It takes twelve damage, and as it does, uh, you see the magic missiles just go, thump, 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 and it just crumples to the ground, dead. By by the way, that roll is fucking amazing. How it just <laughs> lands on its fucking side. Holy crap! But combat is now over. Okay. Oh. Um. Oh. Is everyone still alive? <laughs> Does it look like it, asshole? It's like the scene from Atlantis lights a match. I'm Everyone's still sorry. alive. I'm, I'm I, I, I literally look over and go, keep in mind I can still activate it, asshole. I ain't <laughs> afraid. <laughs> keep in mind, I don't care what your titties do. I was trip in okay yeah okay. Well, you, I, need, you, I, need, you, I need to see what's going on in the field because i yeah, came out sure of you do mode. i'm sure you would love to by the way does anyone know how i can get back into that stage <laughs> <laughs> yeah sure let me just hit you with the lightning <laughs> no <laughs> i'll i'll let you hit me with the lightning if i get to hit you yeah right <laughs> Lipping. <clears throat> <laughs> All right. Okay. Oh shit. No, so back. we just fought sentient necromantic mushroom. I want to point that out. Not in character. This is not in character, by the way. Yeah. You're fine. We just fought sentient necromantic mushrooms. Holy shit. Okay. You're fine. I'll know what you're on about. And I went tripping, man. Tripped on I tripped on the bar. You're fine. So our fucking the, Voltac isn't. The yeah, I'm critic. not. Oh my god. I'm freaking damn near <laughs> close to knock knock knocking on death's door here, buddy. Also note to self, do ah, not you got you can go to you can go to negative negative. <laughs> note to self, do not upload YouTube videos while streaming. No. Yeah. Yeah, you could have told you that you were deafened, and we noticed that the stream was uh, it's like chugging a little bit, chugging, yeah, chugging hard. So, okay. <laughs> the first thing our list of does is checking these fucking bodies. How, how, 
Are they are they human? Like just general humanoid? Like sorry, are they a race that would be normally in civilization? Classifying those all as like humans, um, as so, people. Sorry, were they, were they people? While while, while shot while while our list is doing that, I go up and then I clean myself off of all the guts to just like here, let me help you. You just out jump with in that. the river and this is. <laughs> Uh, the rest of it, yeah. Uh, so the bodies uh, that have been taken over by these spores are uh, human. Um, their their skin is like ghastly pale. It, it no longer has like the blood that uh, like a lot of the blood that flows through it. Um, much of what you, you saw Atlas splatter all over the ground and wall. Uh, was just leftover organs that held uh, liquids inside them. Um, but yes, these were human, and they actually looked to be the bodies of the bandits that y'all had uh, taken out the pre like two days ago. They have reach. These things, these things aren't just confined to this area that was like not far outside of town so these things came all the way sorry i should be saying this in character so these things came from this point all the way a little ways outside the entrance of fucking town yeah these we should head back when we head back to the farm and rest for the night we should once we return to town we should warn them of this i'm worried there's more I'm, I am worried there's going there's more. There's a lot more, not just here, but in caves all around. I think I think we should get back and possibly get on that boat as fast as we can. These things beat the shit out of us. Well, I mean, we cleaned up the town, so we're. What do you mean, beat know, the shit out of us? Time. Last I checked, it was just our, it was just uh, Voltak and uh, Gavari. If we didn't have. What do you mean, beat the shit out of us? Gestures normally to the, you know. Bloody party members. <laughs> I, I am the only one here with full health because I sat back because I'm the only rain because I'm one of the only focused ranged ones here. Um, no, we we were dangerously close. Like we were too fucking close for comfort. We did not. We didn't distribute. We should. We need to. When we get back, we need to distribute health potions we need to we need to make sure fucking out Al alamir is not on things like this holy shit no i thought we just threw our potions into the water because you know forget about potions nobody needs those things no we to be gave, honest no we gave them to the healer we should have fucking distributed them the day after we, yeah, I'm not I just kind of, sure I just kind of, I just kind of look the healer who has healing. You know, I asked for them the last time because I was also <laughs> the one got hit. I did. I was not a part of that decision. I and, and I'm I want fairly to say, sure, Ara Lista, you were a part of the decision of giving it to the healer. I, I want to say, I said, I said we should give it to the healer so we can discuss it the day after. My initial vote was we give one to myself <laughs> and we give one, we give one to Voltak because we are the two, we were the two weakest. Like, we were, we were that was two. my vote as well. I just, 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 just y'all have a mind. wee brush with a little bit of damage, and y'all break down. Man, that, wait until that. one of y'all die. I'm not breaking <laughs> down. She's at nine health. <laughs> I am. She's fine. Nearly there, buddy. This isn't <laughs> yeah. a. Oh, this, this is isn't... almost there. No, buddy, buddy. I'm like. Is this a couple your first, more good, a couple fine. More good hits and I'm your, fucking out? Is this like, your first brush with death? Me. Is this your first brush with death? You're like, at nine health. You're Buddy, fine. I was wrong that stayed in like stayed like longbow range distance from everybody. What do you think? This I'm was, never an upfront fighter. This was a potential. If that thing lived one more round and and Voltak didn't step back. Voltak would be possibly on the ground bleeding out, and we would not. Yes, have so you're fine. Out. You got you. You have nine health. That means you're fine. You got nineteen left to go. You it's fine. It's fine. It. Volt, but Voltak didn't end up on the ground bleeding out. Voltak's fine. 
I just, I, 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 like, I assume the lightning pose, and I just kind of, like, I just kind of look, because, like, he, because this stuff is not gone yet. I'm just, like, just, like, buddy, buddy, Atlas, Atlas, I really want to, I really want to agree with you here, but, man, this well, is looking I'm like a really good effort. Up. I'm not the one who rushed up. Oh, yeah. We have to, we have to check, we have to check No, it no, who was the one first in the cave? Who was the hey, one first because in the I'm cave? The yeah, tank. exactly, there we go. I'm the tank, I All can right, take the hit. We need to make sure the general area has none of these left. We you guys to, can... We need to get the fuck back to the house. You guys, you guys take we care of that part. We should get back, to the, back I'm, to the house I'm for, going into the, the about I'm going, I'm going back in. I'm resting. We back. need to go back. Back to the no. cart to get the healing potions. No, let's. Are they in the fucking cart? I don't know. Let's... They are not Ugh. in the cart. We, they, we, oh, whatever. No, whatever. Let's just go back. Fuck it. We took care of them. They're dead. Let's go. Listen, we took care of the job. We killed the things. We can tell them what 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 information we have. They can deal with the rest. The job was to take care of them, not to like solve a fucking potential like problem when we get back to town we burn down the church so that way Helmir, you know can never keep hide there no. again no when, no when we get when we get back to town we help out that fucking what was the green elf spoken and i have it written down we get him to give me some fucking healing God no they've got to have some sort of healing there it's no we're, take, we're taking we're, no we're going to take a long rest we're, we're going to take a long rest when we get back to the house we'll be fine then as long as nothing in the middle of the night fucking interrupts us um, but that Jack fellow. And there's the jinx. But that, but that, but that Jack fellow. We need to, we need to, we need to get back. We need to get back to town, the main town. We need to help him. We need to help him load up his boat, set up his boat, so we can leave as soon as we can. How much money yeah. did we get for this again, by the way? A lot. A lot. Yeah. There we I, go. It's worth it. Think... Your death is worth it, Voltac. I'm sorry. I. I, I think. I think once we. I, I swear to God. This town, and we go all the way to Storm. Where, where are we going? Storm something or other? Uh, it is. Near it was Cloud Barrow, I believe. Yeah, are we going to Clouds Barrow? Because I know yes. it's near like Ravensfell. Cloud Barrow. Yeah. When we get to Cloud Barrow, it's a more major city than the side port town. We'll be able to buy more equipment. We'll be able to actually. We'll be able to actually get things in hand, and we'll have a little bit more money in our pocket, allowing us to buy shit. Cloud Barrow. Before we get to Cloud Barrow, we need we need to grab some nice warmish clothes. Oh, fuck. Just I... a little cold up there. That's ah. We can honestly, I think we can worry about that when we get there. I doubt that. I doubt that this town, this side port town, whose only shop is the general market, is the is the fish market, that's open in the mornings. I doubt they're gonna have warm clothes. We can check. It's worth checking and worth checking for potions, for health potions. Please, it's, it'll be fine. You guys are sissies. Says the white dragon with resistance to cold. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I have resistance to hot. I'm not going to be doing too great there. All right. Let's get going back to the house. Let's, let's. Before we end up strangling each other over whether or not we have the health potions. I agree. Let's quit. We forgot something vitally important. What? We didn't check the cave for loot. <clears throat> Dancing lights are in the cave and I'm looking around. I mean, my light is still there. It's an hour. How, how bright is that light, though? It's on a pebble. It's like 20 feet in every direction. I, I'm just looking around, making sure it's checking if there's any boxes, if there's anything. Not a damn thing. There's bodies. Thing. Walking there's out. <laughs> it's, it's, it's mushroom people. You it's, really think they care about valuables? It's, um, no, no, it's necromantic mushroom people. Some of the bodies. Can we? Have things on can them. we burn the bodies? The, the bodies have bodies nothing on them. No, can we make sure? Can we burn the, remove the, body. the bodies from the equation? The bodies have been the bodies are basically ash already. Yeah. Well, no, yes, the body. Well. well, the bodies aren't don't dissipate in the spores. They just crumple. Oh. So, um, in that case, I'm, burn the bodies. In that case, burn I'm the bodies. Fire bolt onto every single body there is. <laughs> Are you out of spell slots? Uh, Firebolt is a cantrip. How the fuck? <laughs> Firebolt's only one d10 though. Ow. Okay. One d10. Fire. Plus, plus it's a cantrip that is either hit or miss. It is not uh, full damage or half damage. Yeah. Yeah. 
Also, hi everyone. Hello. How are you? You're well, dead. I came back. Uh, yeah, I assumed that. Jet said that I was at the dock. So I yeah, only assumed one. Yeah, I only you're... assumed one thing. Yeah, you're you are uh helping so Jack with preparations fishing. for departure. So let's get back. Yeah, let's 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 double time it. Let's get back to that house. Tell him it's done, take a long rest and get back to town as soon as we can. I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna go pass out in the cart. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, did we even okay. take the cart back to the forest? No, the car didn't come through the forest. Yeah. The car nope. the house, yeah. We left the car at the house. It, it wasn't that long a run, I don't think. I, st I pick up Voltac and start carrying Voltac back. <laughs> I was like, fucking the least you could do. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so. Eve is, Eve, Eve probably is... the one person fucking big enough to carry. <laughs> <laughs> if it's going to be anyone, it has to be me. When, when, while we start heading back, Eve is uh, back on my shoulders. Yeah. Just, Just chilling. Yeah. It, W watching as well yeah um yeah it's it's a quiet somber uh walk back as you uh as voltac you contemplate <laughs> life and death um and the fact that somehow at somehow now i have well i don't know what the fuck's going on i can apparently understand one thing <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this whole you, experience. You, you can understand Teddy Lightning, uh, but that's about it. I want I want to clarify how Voltac's being carried. I just chuck Voltac over my shoulder. Yeah, yeah, just you're just fire like it's fine. Fireman Face carry. down. At this, point, at this point, Voltac's not like complaining. Uh, Voltac, Voltac is a body bag use. that you have slung Voltac. over your shoulder. Voltac, yeah. the, Voltac does not wish to expend energy, so Voltac is gracious <laughs> for the for the carrying in whatever capacity. Um. <laughs> But yeah, uh, yeah, it, it's just you go back. Um, you I take just about at least ask that I get dropped onto my feet. Yeah, like you, you take about <laughs> uh, two hours walking back. Um, it is it's obviously dark by now. It's heading into the middle of the night. Um, but. Y'all arrive back at the farms, um, and uh, sure enough, the uh, the outside stable has your horses, you know, uh, tied up. Uh, you know, they're locked in a uh, little uh, pen set aside for them, and then your cart is right in front of a barn that's next to the main house, um, and. The, the barn is open. Um, it has been left open for your use. Are there hay piles in there? Yeah. I just chucked fucking bull text straight <laughs> off. Oh. Yeah. Just so lay I, said, down. I'm like, I yeah. said feet first, please. <laughs> you have can no least, choice in this. Can I at least <laughs> land like a decent... Well, <laughs> who... Half orc. half orc? No. 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 <laughs> who's taking... Who's taking... What's the watch order? That's. So I just kind of Voltac just kind of just like Voltac is out last. immediately. I will tell you that right Voltac, now. Voltac's are the last are not going at all. Voltac, Voltac just kind of just kind of just makes some some attempt at saying this is y'all's problem, but just kind of comes out of. Uh... <laughs> Aralista, since you're the least I'm beaten out of the group, you get first watch. Happily, and I see if I can climb on top of the barn. Uh. Yeah, with a make a uh acrobat no an athletics check. Athletics? Oh damn, I was gonna say I can activate Blade Song as well. <laughs> athletics. <laughs> Blade song just for this. Yeah. Oh my god, dude. I'm using I'm using the big dice by the way. Okay. Uh Acrobatics, 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 Acrobatics. No, is acrobatics or athletics you said? Athletics. Awesome. That's 15. that's the strength one. <laughs> yep. Yeah, okay. Wait, how much was your check, Shrek? Fifteen. Okay. I thought 15. you said fifty eight, and I'm like, what the fuck did you do oh, to add that it, up? It's, it's fifteen, I'm proficient in uh, athletics. Okay. Yeah, you, you get up you get up there fine. Um it's not a, not quite as easily as 
one might have hoped, but yeah, you get up on the, the roof fine. And, uh, yeah, uh, make a perception check for your watch. You see, um, okay, oh. I use the big dice for athletics, I'm using the tiny dice for perception. Uh, Haru. 13. Uh, I'm gonna so, send you, I'm gonna send you something. Uh, if you want a, uh, uh, a brief overview of what happened <laughs> during, the, during the fight. <laughs> <laughs> um, that should give you enough of an idea. Jack. <laughs> All right. Yes. Well, well, with my character, since you have seen this before. Yes. Um, that, that's... <laughs> Shock. It is a 17. 17. All right. Um, it's, a, it's quiet. Um, you see uh, some of the other uh, family members walking around and just doing the rounds checking up on uh the animals as the night goes on um basically doing the same thing you're doing keeping watch um but it, it's just one or two of them it, it's you see uh the houses kind of go in a row off the the main house and uh it's quite a sizable family um this one uh, not something you're quite used to seeing uh, where you come from. But the uh, the night is a little brisk. Um, it's getting into the wintered months. Uh, it is the end of fall, after all. Um, mm -hmm. But Ooh. not a cloud in the sky. Um, you can see all the stars. You can see... Uh, I said it was two moons, right? Yeah, two moons. You can see the two moons, you know, hanging uh, there in the sky. Actually, just very quickly, I do have a question about the moons. Uh, if you're mm -hmm. asking me for their names, I don't have them. I'm not asking you for that. <laughs> is one smaller and is one bigger? Or are they both the same size? -ish? They're about the same size. Okay. Um, are either of one of them full? Um, One is, yeah. I am looking up at the full one. Okay. And I just ask, I've, I just, not ask, I say, I have so much I want to fucking ask you. And. That's fair. Continue my watch. All right. Your watch goes off without a hitch. Um, and I believe, well, it's between Quivari and Atlas who wants to go next watch. Oh, sure. I can take it, let Atlas sleep. All right. So, uh, Arlista comes down and wakes you up for your watch. I uh, head out of the barn. No, not you. No, not oh. you. Your third you watch. Was me next, no, I, th I thought I said I was I, second. I literally just asked. I was like, "Who's?" It, uh, it's between Atlas and Guevari. I was like, "Who's next?" <laughs> and you didn't. You said nothing. <laughs> All right. So, yeah. Uh, make a perception check for me. Oh boy, you're gonna love me. Yeah. Perception. Oh boy. Be nice with the roll. There it goes. Twenty-one. Twenty-one. Nothing. Um. It's nice. Um, the cool air is refreshing. Um, you don't think much uh, of the battle that had just taken place. Uh, those sort of things happen. Just another day on the job for you. <laughs> um, nobody died. That's a plus. <laughs> Always a plus yeah, sure. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But, uh... I mean, close counts, only in horseshoes and hand grenades. Yeah. And so, I mean, you don't think much on it, but these people are growing on you. Slightly. The way fungus would grow on those bodies. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. There it is. <laughs> uh, but yeah. Uh, your watch goes by. Nothing much of note. 
Uh, back to bed. Yep. <laughs> and you go back to bed. Wake up, Atlas. And uh, your turn. Atlas. Hi, buddy. Hi. I go hop up in the curtain. Yeah. Stand there. Long rest. All right. Uh, you look up at the stars and think about the last time you've had this much freedom to just go where you want. And it's been a while, actually. It's, uh, you've been in Winlet for the better part of two years. And as far it, during your time there, you didn't get to go out much. Um, you spent most of your time down in the fight pit, fighting day after day after day after day. And now that you're not there, and you kind of just left, like you didn't ask anybody, you just were like, yeah, sure. Um, but Tortrix got your back. He'd let he'd let people know, you think. Um, but it's nice having freedom again. The the planes suit you. Mm-hmm. And uh you've grown to enjoy the the open road a little more than being back in that city getting your shit kicked in. Mm-hmm. Uh, make a perception check. Uh, do, 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 13. 13. You just kind of stare up at the stars occasionally, looking around. Don't notice much. But, um, it go, your, your watch goes off. And uh, I believe you're not uh, this one. You. You're not taking a watch, right? No. So uh, you, Atlas, stay up until the morning rises, at which point you uh, bang on the barn, the side of the barn to wake everybody up. (sighs) Sounds like an earthquake going off. Yeah, it's just boom, boom, boom. Yeah. You're not quiet about it. Nope. Wake up. Time to go. Oh, faster, just faster. faster, better. Faster the better. Let's move. Oh, I just. We need to tell the family that we deal with the nest. Mm. Yes. Get. get uh... You. You lot get the. Um, you lot get the car ready. I'll go tell them. Okay. I'm by me. Um, right. I walk up, knock on the door. Oh, he's out on the porch, just kind of sitting uh, there with a, with a, a a mug of uh. Coffee. Yeah, sure. They have coffee here. Cool. Co- coffee wouldn't be a, a strange a strange thing in a fantasy world, actually, because you can it's brew it with. Bean water. Yeah, it's bean water. It's bean water. It's roasted bean water. Roasted bean water. Yeah. They would. It's not they that could, hard. Yeah, it's not that hard. Yeah, he has a cup of coffee. Yeah. Enjoying uh, the brisk morning. In that case, I walk up to the porch. I do not walk onto the porch. Okay. Um, ooh, actually, let me mark my long rest. Um. Um, I walk up to the bottom of the porch, maybe like two feet away from the uh, stairs side, ready to bolt just in case, because this guy is like two times my height. Yeah. Um. The uh, mushroom bucks, they've been taken care of. Oh, wonderful. Uh, <clears throat> uh, the payment is back with uh, Victor. I know. Um, Thank you. Uh, I, I'll I'll send word ahead. Of, uh, send a carrier pigeon ahead of you, and uh, it should be there. Uh, greatly, greatly appreciated. Letting him know to deliver your reward. I'm. I'm going to say. Hmm. Make sure to keep your family close and be careful. And, be careful on night's watch. Oh, of course. We we, we can handle ourselves. It's just uh, 
Uh, it, sometimes it gets a little out of hand. These would, mushrooms. Would, 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 uh, would Voltak overhear this by any chance? No. These, these mushrooms, when we went to go wipe them out, we went to go kill them. They, uh, they brought back people. Oh. People we, have, people we have previously killed as well. Bandits. Oh my. That is horrid. Indeed. Haven't seen much of that. Yeah. Don't. I don't plan to. But we'll keep a, a vigilant watch. And I thank you for your deeds. As I said, of course. Yeah. <laughs> the safe, moment you... Safe the travels. Moment. Same to you. Well, whatever life may bring you, at least. Fair enough. And I walk away. All right. Card is on the move. And I just tell Voltec, grab our Lista when we pass by. <laughs> <laughs> Ringers uh, uh, right Vol Vol Voltai, how are you feeling uh, nice and uh, refreshed from that day's end just kind of goes alright your nose is kind of like gets ready Voltec, well, while you are recovered uh, your nose is a bit swollen and a, a, a slightly crooked um, so before you even get the chance to I try and jump on the cart make an acrobatics check <laughs> I go to Please tell me you fucking fail. <laughs> Can I catch? Here's here's the thing. Is it acrobatics or is it acrobatics? Fuck. Okay. Come on. That is major legal. Seventeen. All right. Yeah. You you jump on. It, it's not traveling super fast, so you just kind of grab the edge and leap over. I've done this. I've. I just look at him. It's like I've done this stuff. Shit, moving faster. <laughs> Don't make me fucking jerk the card again. Oh, That's a callback okay. to our first trip. That is, that is something no one will so understand. <laughs> That's not a matter to me. It's a matter with they know. I was just saying. <laughs> but uh, y'all make a. Uh, decent pace it's a clear day um not much uh, of not much to be wary of you see the occasional you know wildlife roaming about um that wolf is not there that was there the uh when you had passed through previously um, uh, while we're passing through that general area, I just keep watch a little bit more. Uh, funny enough, the mist that was there is no longer there. Yeah, I'm just I'm just assuming that there's a den or something, and I don't want to accidentally piss off some things we don't really need to, and I don't want to. Yeah, no, that's they're, 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 that's, that's off some things. Yeah, they're wolves. They're if, at least territorial. Yeah, they're territorial, but at the same time, at least uh, in Earth, on Earth, they're not. They won't attack you unless you show signs of aggression. So, yeah. just in case that translates. I'm a cat. I don't like dogs. Just in case that translates to D and D, fucking, we can pass by them with no issue as long as we yeah. can't Fuck dogs. Talk them. Just don't be a dick. Yep. Fuck wolves. Uh. But yeah, you guys head back to town. Um. Nothing really. Too bad. Like it's it's a nice calm trip back. Um, when you arrive, uh, you are not the first ones there. There is another cart, uh, very ornate and very, uh, with m more horses than you had. It's, it's, it's got four, uh, and there's a couple more carts, uh, trailing behind it. Well, um, looks like these are the folks we're escorting. Folks. Fox. <laughs> <laughs> I thought uh, you said fucks. I'm like, damn, who we're damn, already that. just hatred oh, of these people. I did say fucks. I did say fucks. I meant food. <laughs> the, the New Yorker showed up. 
<laughs> oh, thanks, fuck. I meant. <laughs> oh, man. Um. Yeah, and, uh, you see Callum, uh, there, uh, by these carts, uh, starting to, to bring things, uh, take, like, luggage and stuff to, down to the docks. Um, uh, there you guys are? Yeah. How was it? Oh, oh just peachy! Oh, uh. I wouldn't ask so, that one, I'm, to be honest. I'm guessing it wasn't peachy. That's fine. I came out fine. Yeah, you uh, did. Got I it. Came it out, I came out quite got okay. It. Got it. All right. Listen, listen. You were tripping on balls. You shut your mouth. Uh, also, my I came she's a panda out. with lightning tits. We're all fine. Nope. I <laughs> did, came out great because of that. How dare also, you? Callum, note for the future. I think I'm going to need to borrow some of your arrows. Uh... Oh, yeah, I run those spells a day right also, now. Also, mm. healing potions. Yes, we need to figure out how the fuck we're gonna distribute the healing potions. <laughs> that that was a that was a fast revelation. <laughs> ah. Shit, do I have the healing potions? No, Yolmir has the healing Yolmir potions. Has... Uh, <laughs> yeah. I, I, yeah, I I literally, I, I literally go, I, I literally kind of look at everyone and go. I'm going to go and, like, crack my knuckles, retrieve Yolmi. <laughs> <laughs> go, and go. have some uh, words with uh, some people who can kind of point to the nose, deal with this while we're at it. <laughs> go. I'll go get you. Um, Shock, what are you doing, sorry? Grabbing the payment. As, as, uh, as, I'm going to uh, go uh, with our Alista <laughs> for the payment. Yeah. As oh. as 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 Voltec walks away, you see a uh, unusually strong grip on the hand axes at her side. <laughs> uh, Callum, if you can come with us as well. Right. We're gonna go with them. Okay. Uh, um, all right. Javari? DM, you are about to do a bit of explaining because I need. A, I'm about to ask Callum about just what he knows about this ship and such. Okay. <laughs> Um, By all means. On the way to collect the payment, I ask Callum if he's seen the if he's seen the people we're escorting, how big the ship is, defenses on the ship. Um have, have I seen any of those? How much food how much food has been on the ship and what he's been loading. So Callum. So that I have I I wasn't Try, going to initially include Callum in any of this right now, so I didn't have like shit written down for him. Yeah, fuck. Uh, That's fair. But <laughs> uh, no, uh, as far as you know, it's been there's yeah, been. yeah it, it's been a <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Yeah, it's no. <laughs> um, there's about there's six cannons. Uh. Three on each side. Um, you've been bringing general food, salted meats, uh, stuff that can uh, stay a stay while. Stay good. Yeah, stay good for a, a decent trip. Um, barrels of uh, water, uh, ale. Um again things that will stay good yeah nothing oh, nothing God. nothing that nothing outside the ordinary um no a few juices no, no none of that no i guess wine would would get better yeah um It'd but die. as far as any out of the ordinary cargo um not that you've seen there's been a yeah. few crates that you loaded on early this morning uh, for, as heavy, eh, slightly. Um, that uh were brought by. God, what was his name? Uh, which one? They were brought by God. Uh, no. Which I one? Have... The turtle or the uh, elf? Nope, nope, nope. Neither of those. The guy by the noble. Sporting. The noble, yeah. I think uh, it was yeah. 
Uh, I don't. I don't have his name here. I don't. I don't think I gave it to you. I have okay. his name, but I, I did not give it to you. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. So it, it's been a busy day and a half um, as y'all are getting back around noonish. Oh, well, that's right. It's a fucking four-hour trip. Yeah. It, you, so it's about noonish now that you're getting back. So um, it, you've been busy. They got here late last night, and you've been working through. Uh, you've been you were awake early in the morning. And you've just been loading stuff on the boat. You haven't really had time to interact with them, but they are, you know, that they are a, bar a party of about 10. Uh, Callum, that is. Yeah, I repeat this. Yeah. Yep. That's it. Well, I at the very least hope they know how to do shit on a ship because it's going to be quite annoying. Escorting ten people that are gonna do jack sh that will do jack shit. I eh. say uh, this cuz. Alright, let's grab the money. Luckily it's nothing I had to deal with up until now. Occasionally but, 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 but you know. Mm-hmm. I would assume by this point we're inside the tavern. Yeah. Uh Victor comes up and greets you all. Ah, my friends, how 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 was your trip? Well, incredible. Good dead. That's the best kind of my commit. Uh, nasty little things bring puts the little fungus into uh, things that are long dead and kind of reanimates them. It's not ne necessarily necromancy, but it's it's strange. It's it's close enough. Ha. It's not it's not magic per se. No, but in my mind necromancy is necromancy, either magical or non. Fair enough. Uh your coin. And he goes back uh behind the bar and uh brings out a, a small chest uh, and sets it in front of you. Uh opens it. Uh 500 silver, as promised. Pushes it forward for you. <laughs> okay, so there's six of us. Mm-hmm. Uh, 90 to two people. Uh, 90 to two people, 80 to... Th oh, sh uh, 80 to four. So it's 500 gold, you said? 500 gold. Silver. Silver. 500 silver, yeah. Silver, silver, silver. Oh, no, 500 gold. He just said it. You all you heard it. He said I will it. stab gold. you. <laughs> we, should, we should do 83 to everybody but one, and that one person gets 84. <laughs> that, that'll be uh, the person who took the most damage. That'll be the person who took the most damage. <laughs> what about the person who took no damage and wasn't even there? <laughs> uh, yeah, just get nothing from this. Honestly, we could uh. just, just split it four ways. Shoves Callum away. <laughs> <laughs> Let's, it let's, would be a clean split. Let's. I, I agree. Let's do eighty-three to everybody and give the extra to Voltak. Yeah. Uh, word is on the street that uh, as you well, not so much word. Uh, as you can that would see. be Voltak would be eighty-five. What eighty-five silver? Eighty-five silver. Yep. Yeah. Sorry, as you I can see, uh, Lord Frayson is back in town. Uh, I. Frayson. Frayson, yes. Uh, F R. That's you have to give F, me one wrapping my journal. F R E Y S O N. F R E Y S O N. Yep. Frayson. I actually think you did give that name. That sounds familiar. I might have. I don't know. Uh, Lord Frayson is back from Ottenborough, and uh, word is Jack is going to be heading out tomorrow. Brilliant. Right. Oh, Any... I do. I, I, I warned one of the folks there, but these fungus, we were told that they were bringing back small animals and such. The mm -hmm. band... They, uh, they can. The bandits I... we dealt with outside of town, they brought those back as well. That was not that far out of town. No. 
But, I mean, they, if they're, you were here for a day, I mean, if they what made their trip, a day's, day or more journey is un, not unheard of. It's, you were no. gone two days. I, no, I agree. I'm just saying they might get dangerously close to town. I don't think there's more of them. That was the only group that I've heard of. Well, sometimes we'll be safe and sorry. Agreed. Bring things back from the dead. Agreed. We'll keep an eye out. And he goes back to uh, serving patrons of the bar, as there are now quite a few. I was keeping my voice relatively low in that part as well. Just yes, no, that's fine. Don't need to... Be like, hey, there are necromantic mushrooms we just killed. If there's more, they can kill. Again, they can not necromantic. No, but... not, not necromantic, but our list still is, fucky. Our, our list, our list is treating it as the same fucking thing. It's it's bringing something back from the dead. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. Uh, the rest of the day is yours. Uh. But, however, we are coming up on uh, 7 o'clock here. So, uh, I think that's where we're going to call it today. Hi, Colin! Totally out of character. Don't get on the boat! Don't get on the boat for the DM has many oceany creatures that he wants to use. Don't get on the boat! <laughs> runs what dragon runs turtle? down the dock onto the ship. No, onto God. The ship. <laughs> God. What dragon turtle? Oh. A small island starts approaching you. <laughs> this cat, it, this cat would not like to be wet right away. Okay. Uh, uh, I agree that the DM does only have does have a bunch of ocean creatures that he wants to use that he barely ever gets to use. Um, there's a few things with this map. We're going to be on the water a bit more than not. Um, we're probably going to be on the water water quite a bit more than other campaigns. I, I think. Maybe. Um, I don't like that excitement. Um. Also, I don't, I we are we are level three. He's not. I hope he's not going to throw a dragon <laughs> at us. I'm not going to no, throw a dragon turtle throw at, a you. at us. Jet, Would I Jet scare you with a dragon now. turtle? Maybe. However, Jet just wants us to die. Listen, uh, characters. No, not characters. Uh, players. Uh, when the DM leaves for the night and goes to sleep for the night, let's make a bingo chart for, <laughs> for the next. Uh... Right, we'll start. We'll start the pool. Yeah. Who dies next? Well, yeah, so far, the closest to dying is. I have a fucking... pool on things to attack the boat. <laughs> yeah. Apparently, right? me rushing in and just being next to everything, just, you know, I can only take get hit once in the combat. Oh, I'm fucking have 20 gold now. 20 gold overall. Ooh, nice. Ooh. Hello, I, I want to hallucinate again. Can we get this going? <laughs> oh, I pull Victor's head. Is there any way you can get me on some. Some stuff that gives me hallucinating. No, I'm kidding. Um, no. uh, <laughs> so I have, a, I have, I have five silver on giant squid. <laughs> I'll put five silver on dragon turtles. Sure. <laughs> I don't know the I'm creatures say enough. Minor ocean god. Ooh, Black that's dragon. a good one. So oh. five silver for my minor ocean god. Um, shit, I don't know the creatures. Damn it. By the way, um, also in the rules on the poster is uh, don't plot where God can hear you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, typing. I mean, smite. <laughs> don't plot from the DM for God is listening and taking notes. I'm I'm gonna put I'm gonna put five silver on a whale showing up. So that would be a sperm whale or a killer whale. Oh, um, nobody's gonna take that bet. So so. Uh, this is another campaign I'm about to be a part of. It's a Pathfinder campaign. We have it, two group chats. It's one with the DM and one without. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the one without is called, if I remember correctly, Quix's Heading. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. God. Uh, so I didn't realize that uh, I, I needed to, you know, verify my YouTube account beforehand. Uh, to what? upload videos longer than 15 minutes. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. The first campaign video, 15 minutes? No, 15 no. minutes. That's four hours. Um, so... Yeah, I saw, I saw the first campaign's video. Uh, yeah, uh, I, I'm going to... I'm attempting to, but yeah, okay. it's, it's... So my first comment is fucking just gone now? Uh... Listen, shut up. 
uh, it didn't even go through processing. So, <laughs> uh, that's it for this week. Uh, we will be back in two weeks. Like that's what, February, can... right? That'd be hard. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, first... I'm going to be back in school by that point. First well. weekend of February. Hell yeah. February 7th. February the 7th. Best number. Um, after today, I'm going to be, or after I close this, actually, I'm going to be trying to upload sessions one and two, and I'll even upload session three right away um, to YouTube. And uh, that's youtube.com uh, user full weasel. Uh, yeah. It's, uh, we, we don't have the slash full weasel because, you know. Because uh, we don't have a thousand views. Already. Yeah, we don't have a thousand yeah. views. But I hey, if you, get, if you get us there, we love you. So, um, I get don't. us there or else. Yeah, no. Um, oh, yeah, all right, buddy. Let's <laughs> yeah. let's take ten to twenty percent off the top there. I'm gonna figure out how YouTube works. We will have our vods uploaded to YouTube, uh, hopefully, like within the week after that. They are. Uh, we do them here on Twitch, uh, at least until we get part or affiliate on twitch and then we you know have that whole like week-long extension or like thingy i think it's like is it a week two months or something is it two months it's a, it's a i think i, I think, think it's for, two uh, weeks for regular users and two months for uh prime or affiliate is it yeah <laughs> it's like 60 days partner or affiliate <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh Twitch that's, Prime. That's, for, that's pretty funny. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh no 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 not, not that not that. I'm not worried about that one. That's that's this is a different issue. Uh yeah. but yeah. We'll be back February seventh. Be there, be square, and uh have a good night. You'll be there and be square. Yes. Have a good one, y'all. Peace.